Black power to the beloved out there. It's the sage of the age, premiering from every hood to Hollywood, bringing you that divine wisdom guaranteed to rock you up out of your ignorance. Okay, okay. Today is a special lecture because it's a precursor to the aim of my next few videos coming out throughout this, uh, you know, these pagan winter, uh, midwinter festivals and holidays, okay? I know a lot of you feeble-minded niggas are already ready for Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Christmas, New Year's, and all that. Although they don't contribute to any of our, you know, plights as a black race. Only thing they do is leech and they like parasites. They draw, you know what I'm saying, the life force from an economy from the black people. You know what I'm saying? Then they use that against us and they degrade us in their own homeland using our black dollar. You know what I'm saying? Which I'm going to touch on in this lecture. You know what I'm saying? Okay, this is why it's important, family, I always stress, you got to purchase for the purpose, you know what I'm saying? And never take part of the traditions of your enemies, you know? It's too many frivolous niggas out there giving their last to a culture that don't respect them in any way, you know what I'm saying? The ancestors warned us about this kind of plight, this kind of situation we're being in, you know, us being the niggas, them, we just holiday niggas, us being the holiday niggas we is, we don't see past, you know, go, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's really what's, what, what it come down to. Okay, so first and foremost, I got to give my praise and shout out to the ancestors. Thank you for gracing me with this knowledge, put me in a position I'm in so I'm able to give it to my people. Hopefully, I'll take the information, give it back to somebody, one of your people who I might not be able to reach. Thank you for the master teachers who I'm sitting on the shoulders of, you know what I'm saying, helping me with that divine state of mind and hip to, you know, put it to my people. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about Dr. Ben, Dr. Clark, Ivan Van Sertum, uh, uh, Drusilla Dungeon Houston, uh, uh, Sharshi McIntyre. Francis Chris Wilson, Asa Hillier, George Jim James, J.A. Rogers, Malcolm X, Marcus Garvey. You know, the list goes on and on and on. You know what I'm saying? Pick one, nigga, and each one teach one. That's how we got to go. You know what I'm saying, family? This right here, we're dealing with, okay, the title of this lecture is Child Sacrifice and Cannibalism in the Cro-Magnon Man Culture. You know what I'm saying? Now, who is the Cro-Magnon Man? You know what I'm saying? It's the, it's the cracker. You know what I'm saying? It's the cockazoid. You know what I'm talking about? You know, the mutated version of what had first came up by the African. We know that through, you know, even they searches over there in Monaco, which is over there by France. I think it's bordering France and Switzerland, or it might be France, one of them other uh, areas. But anyway, uh, you know, you got Monaco over there. And what they saw was, as they were digging, uh, the archaeologists saw um, uh, like a mutated version. It wasn't an African, but it wasn't a European just yet, but you could see the, you know, the variation of it. So really, you know, when I say Cro-Magnon, man, God damn it, it's really you know, a mutated version of the Cro-Magnon man. That's why they say that, you know, the European is a mutation of a mutation. So we dealing with their festivals and their holidays where it's geared towards nothing but child sacrifice. And in their in whole culture, you know, it's them throughout history, what they have shown as a standard. You know what I'm saying? This is not me. This is, I'm showing you a name from their Greek gods to the Roman gods to even they, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the history in, in Europe, I'm talking about it all. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn festivals and holidays and pagan shit they do up to this day, showing you that they never left. You know what I'm saying? Family, I want to thank you for the support that you've been giving me. You know what I'm saying? You see the rolling banner down there. You know what I'm saying? You see the email. Get with me. If you want me to, you know what I'm saying, put together some kind of lecture that you want to hear about a topic, let me know. As long as it's not on no goofy shit, we can handle that. You know what I'm saying? You want me to come to your city and and, and rock the goddamn stage up out there ignorance? Goddamn it. I pull up a million rock on anybody block. Put some coins together, get with me, and we can make that happen. You know what I'm saying? You see the cash out there in that family, you don't be scared of the donation. You know what I'm saying? I'm loving the donation that you give me, and it enables me to do the research and do all the backup things I need to do to make sure when I get on here, my science is right and tight. That's how I know, baby. I'm harder than Chinese arithmetic because I go over my shit five, six, seven, eight, nine, just like you niggas watch them all crazy ass shows back to back to back. Listen, I'm on that knowledge. It's nonstop. You feel me? So when I put it together, I done done all the necessary research. I done researched the researcher and I already know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? Which is going back to, you know, the title of this, 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 uh, this lecture, it goes in with the child sacrifice and lets you know why we need to come up out of all this. You know what I'm saying? Come up out these holidays and everything. But it also shows you how it's supposed to boost your economy. You know what I'm saying? The Crow Magnet man takes this money and, like I say, go over there and ridicule black people with these Yule festivals that he have and the Dutch and all these other different people. You know what I'm saying? Even you got the A-Rab. I, I got something on that. And it won't be in this lecture, it'll be in another one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, you just Chinese culture. They got black sambo and they running, they running rampant with that. So we got to make sure that we paying attention and seeing the scope of things. So when we rise back up, we know who the fuck, 
you know, who to, who to leave on that black, on that back burner. You know what I'm saying? You know, Black Friday coming up the day after goddamn Thanksgiving. It ain't nothing but another, you know, a, a continuation of these midwinter festivals. You know what I'm saying? And family, it ain't Black Friday if you ain't shopping black. You know what I'm saying? Go on and get you some of that Osiris Child 360 because I'm coming back to back like a rerun tomorrow, if not tomorrow, uh, probably on Thursday, on Thanksgiving, Thor's Day. See, that's what you niggas don't know. That's why we got to tighten you up. See, I'm dropping this and then I'm back doing with the goddamn pagan festival, what you call Thanksgiving. Uh, you know, we're going we gonna to deal with all that. This, you know, uh, what is it called? Uh, Harvest Home. You know what I'm saying? That shit come from some them goddamn crazy ass pilgrims who in they land, they come talking about they was coming from religious persecution. You a goddamn lie. You came over here because your religion was based on burning people at the goddamn stake. See, you call gay people faggots. That's one of the, uh, you know, orientations or persuasions that the, the Puritans, see, it wasn't no pilgrims. It was the Puritans over there in England. They was over there burning motherfuckers at the state. And when you had to collect your own sticks, what you call them? Faggots. You see what I'm saying? You call the little sticks faggots. And now they call cigarettes faggots. Niggas don't even know that. Y'all like puffing on them faggots, man. But anyway, see, they come, They was burning people at the stake over there in England. And the damn England people say, we got to get these motherfuckers out of here. So them was the first people who had came over here and settled in America from over there in Europe. They was a British colony. You see what I'm saying? So, And you can see the British was the, the Germanic people. Okay, so we can see from the roots of it. They come from a barbaric you know, tradition. They come up talking about it was religious persecution. You a goddamn lie, man. Stop that. You know, we, we know what you was doing now. We already know about you and King Jane, King Jimmy wanting to get away from the, uh, the, the, the Catholic Church so you can get some land in the newfound land. We touched on that. That's why y'all got to go read up on the, the the 80 years war. What started the 80 years war for, for the Dutch and the uh, Spanish and all of that? You know what I'm saying? See, it stemmed from that Catholic church, which that's not the lecture, but I had to get into it. I'm just showing you in chrono uh, chronological order that this shit has been rooted in there from the jump. OK, and I'm showing you this, the precursor to it, because when it line up about the goat and all this kind of shit, you see what I'm saying? Because you got pan in the Greek persuasion, you know, and then that turned into fondness in Rome. And you see what I'm saying? It's just a continuation of it. Even when you go into, <clears throat> you know, the cracker nowadays, which is I don't separate none of the Cro-Magnon men. OK, so whether we talk about Jews, Hebrews, whatever, you can even see the Jewish customs keeping the Sabbath on Saturday, which is right here. And let me go ahead and get into this family okay i'm gonna go ahead and get into this now this right here is saturn okay but saturn is the roman version of cronus okay so cronus where you get chronology so you got father time right here see that's another reason why i gotta get on goddamn uh uh new years okay because that's all geared towards that pagan shit man we're going we got about 50 slides to go through we finna go in today because I got to line y'all up, you know what I'm saying, into what we getting into. We jumping off the porch with some hot shit, you feel me? So like I said, this Kronos and one of Kronos uh, symbols is the sickle. You understand what I'm saying? It's the sickle, okay? You know, and <clears throat> the thing about Kronos is he rules Saturn, of course, like I said that, but there's also around the wintertime, it's the goat. See what I'm saying? That's Capricorn, okay? So Christmas time, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, New Year's and all of that is the time of Kronos. Okay, so we gotta we gotta understand that off the top. Now, an epithet of Kronos is the goat. See, now what is an epithet? An ep epithet is a descriptive phrase or like an expressive qu uh, expressive quality of a person or, or the thing that's mentioned. You see what I'm saying? So it's like the other side of you can't see you don't see Kronos without really seeing that goddamn goat. You know what I'm saying? That Kronos or Saturn rules. Uh, not only Capricorn, but Aquarius. Okay, so he he rules in dual, uh, you know, zodiac uh, signs. Okay, one of his symbols is that sickle right there. You also see a smaller sickle that he run with. These, this is all important because he's a he he was an agricultural deity on top of a can. Now this is the head god, y'all. This is a cannibalistic god. Okay, and see, he ate his children to keep them from taking over power. You feel me? That's just that's the Cro Magnon man today. And that's why it matches up his deity because the deity is just a reflection of the culture. You, you get what I'm saying? So you can see the reflection of the Cro Magnon man in these old crazy ass deities that they formed up, even though they stole 
I, I don't want to say they stole it out of Africa because I don't want y'all to think that Africans was running around worshiping deities who ate their kids. But they got the concepts up out of Africa and they threw their wicked twist up on it. OK, so you can see that goat even from they see Saturn, the highest deity, his epithet being the goat. So they revere that goat like they revere Saturn. You see what I'm saying? Now, the fall of the sun. See, when you go into the fall seasons, that's why you can mix Halloween all up with that winter shit man we talking about a 600 bit let me come on back in here we talking about people around in america spending 600 billion dollars annually on these fucking winter festivals and these holidays black people you already know they somewhere in that number see what i'm saying so we talk about what people do to us and this that, and the third but what we really need to be worried about is what the hell we we can do for ourselves you see what i'm saying and you Nigga, we'd be in much better shape if we didn't spend no money on these damn holidays and shit. See, we we get confused because we get all in emotions. Oh, this is about, you know, Jesus. Or this is about religion. This ain't got a goddamn, goddamn thing to do about no Jesus or no religion. This shit is Roman. This is just continued Roman tradition, Greek tradition. You can't get out of that because, like I said, you got the Jews who celebrate Sabbath day is Saturday. Saturday is Saturn day. Saturn is Cronus. That's him eating his kids and everything like that. So you can see the Jews is just a carryover from Roman tradition. OK, even Byzantium, which is uh in Turkey, which was, you know, you know, Byzantine, Constantinople and everything like that. Now, they want to say that. That was an extension of the Roman Catholic Church. But 600 B.C. is when the Greeks set up Byzantium. So you can see right there. It's a, and that's why I always say the Romans is just another colony of Greece. So now when you go into the Bible, you see that the Bible is written in, written in what? Greek. It's written in Greek, the Septuagint. Let's not play no games, man. Let's go straight up the middle with this shit. So now Kronos is a Greek character. So you can understand the carryover now. Kronos is the father of Zeus. When you say Jesus' name in Portugal or, or Spanish, it's Hey Zeus. Okay, let's be real. Okay, and then Zeus in Rome is Jupiter. Okay, now you know Zeus is up there. Uh, you know, in, is is the highest deity in the pantheon. He might be in Greek. You know what I'm saying? But he, like I say, his daddy was Zeus. So you understand that the power had to go through Kronos. You feel what I'm saying? Okay, so we see right there. Now, Zeus had to uh, uh, hide in a cave in Crete because, again, because Kronos was eating all his kids. Zeus being the son of Kronos, he was going to get eight. So Rhea, which is Zeus' mama, hid uh, uh, Zeus in a cave. Okay, now, when she hid him in the cave, uh, one thing that sustained and nourished Zeus was Almathea was the goat. So again, there you go right there. You got the epithet is the uh is is the goat for Cronus. And then right now you see right off the bat the epithet of Zeus is Almathea, which is the goat. Now a story with Zeus was which we're gonna get into a little later too. Zeus uh broke the horn off of Almathea, threw it up in the you know, and in, in, well basically to to contribute. I'm sorry, not to contribute, but to like uh pay reverence to her. He made her into a a a, a Capricorn, which is the zodiac. So you got Almathea was the goat. She turned into Capricorn. So that's where you get the cornucopia. So there, so we're gonna touch on that because this is like I say, this is leading into the Thanksgiving, the Christmas. See, y'all niggas got Greek mythology all even wrapped up in these goddamn festivals and holidays, holy days. That's coming from Germanic people. See the holly tree, evergreen tree. Ain't none of that shit no goddamn Africa, holly mistletoes and shit that's coming from a Euro european crow magnon race that's why i be telling niggas man y'all niggas be talking about oh this got to do with jesus man listen if jesus grew up in palestine and jerusalem and shit he wouldn't be seeing no goddamn evergreen trees and all that my nigga so why is it that you got the baby jesus sitting up under the goddamn evergreen tree that's key because we're gonna get into even baby Jesus being a mixture of Cupid, E. Ross, and all the other. Listen, I didn't come to play because the Virgin Mary ain't nothing but a continuation of, of morphing of Aphrodite and Venus. That's why you see Mary in the V in the in the uh scallop shell. See what I'm saying? Mary in the scallop shell and the pearls. The scallop shell and the pearls is a guy is 
is uh symbols for Aphrodite and Venus. Facts. Okay. Not only that, god damn it, the dove. That's the listen, the dove is a main symbol for Aphrodite and Venus. What did you see every time you see in a goddamn church house when they see the father and the son, the goddamn dove is right above them. This is facts. So, like I said, this ain't nothing that we just mumbling and trying to get across and reach it, motherfucker. This is Greek mythology. This is continued Greek mythology. And once you understand the, the, you know, they didn't have no morals in the Greek pantheon. You got Zeus fucking on kids. The, he, you know, he fucking on little boys. Ganymede. He turning into animals and raping on the women and shit. See, see, you, you got the other uh, Greek gods. They raping on men, Apollo, he had sexual uh, relations with little boys, okay, he's a boy himself or a man himself, supposedly, so you see what I'm saying, that's why I gotta make that, uh, that I'm, I'm making me a Greek mythology uh, series, goddamn, I'm making a, because a nigga pissed me off today on some troll shit, you see what I'm saying, he pissed me off on some troll shit, which I already know what the deal is with that, once you in they face, see, it's just like if a nigga, you if he having his way with you, you in the ring, he bat, 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 you know what I'm saying? He he handing it to you, you know what I'm saying? He side sidestepping all your moves and bam, bam, I'm giving it to you. I'm talking about one, two, uh, letting you have it. You gonna you gonna cry, you gonna bitch, you gonna moan. So I already know when I'm in their chest, like I'm in their chest, because I already told them I'm stomping them out repetitiously. I understand that it ain't you have no other way but to take the bitch way out, you know what I'm saying, and what they doing now. Now let me get back to the message, family. So we see how we can how we can tie you know Saturday Saturn Chronos to nap to even nowadays you know they even say the holy day the Sabbath day is on Saturday that's supposed to be the first day of the week in the Jewish customs you see what I'm saying so you know and Tammuz is supposed to be the sun god Tammuz is the uh, month of the Jewish month and I think that's in the summer see when is the sun coming up in the summertime. And, you know, it's a lot of things that we haven't, you know, really, because it's a, uh, what is it, a paralysis of analysis. See what I mean? We ain't, we ain't, we really don't want to look deep into the shit. That's really what it is. We scared. We want to sweep it under the rug and sweep it. Well, motherfucker, it ain't no more room left under the rug. You got to deal with the shit. Okay? We got to deal with it. We wonder why these goddamn kids coming up missing around this time of the year. And that, but well, goddamn it, this is what it is. Okay? Because you got Cronus on the loose. And, and, and even though Cronus is a mythical character, his energy, the people who created him, is they real. This ain't, them ain't no metaphysical people. That's some physical people. You know what I'm saying? So we got to deal with this shit, man. He even, that nigga, like he got the Jew shoes on. Got a Jew, got the Jew crown. See, that's what I'm saying. And we're going to get on them Jews later. Okay, fam, let me go on through. Now, this right here, we got to touch on because Lupercalia is where we get our festival Valentine or our holiday Valentine's Day. Now, I have to put this out, and I took this from my lecture uh, from Lupercalia, which is, we're we going to delve into that even more. But the thing I want to make sure that we understand right out the bat, right out the bat, this is coming from a goddamn cracker, uh, Pausinius, who was a historian back in that time in ancient, what, what is this, Greece or Rome? I, I think it was, I think it was Rome. <laughs> it might have been, no, I think it was Rome. Anyway, you just look it up. So, now this is coming from the book Lupercalia. Listen now. The Lycia, which we're gonna touch on Lycia, because that's uh that's coming from Lace Laceon, you know what I'm saying? Who was the uh the man who was turned into a wolf by Zeus? See, but the funny thing is Lycius or the you know Laceon is also an epithet for Zeus. So it's Pan. See, Pan, which is the goat, like I told you before, is also an epithet of Zeus. So you can see the the so I, you just make sure the wolf and the goat, the dog and the goat. You see this, you know, they running a close first, you know, a, a close race for first. Now, I say the Lycia had the savage rights of many Catholic festivals. Listen, Parsinius tells us that even in his day, a child was sacrificed, his blood sprinkled upon the altar and his entrails tasted sacramentally by the priest. Thereupon, say the legend, he who had tasted of the entrail was transformed into a werewolf for a period of nine years. Listen. One account tells of a certain Dementus who have partaken, having partaken of the sacrifice and been changed into a wolf, swam across a pool, you know, and entered upon his nine-year exile. Now, see, we're going to talk about this wolf in a minute, but what's key is 
it's just like it's a uh let me come on back in just like it's a constellation uh uh from Almathea, which is capricorn there's also a constellation called lupus see lupus that's the wolf okay and you know that look that wolf is very 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 prominent in rome for y'all who know about romulus and remus also listen now also there is an altar next to where you see the wolf and that altar is called arrow that's a constellation so so they playing this shit out as above so below but see that's what i'm saying when you're dealing with as above from uh as above so below you got to look at it and see are you dealing with it from a cro magnon perspective or are you dealing with it from an african perspective because see our as above so below helped us continue and, and build on science you know what i'm saying to evolve and advance civilization and everything like that you know and i've dealt with this plenty of other things you know even the oldest calendars in the world adam's calendar was geared towards uh you know orion and that whole constellation in that area and you can see many more in you know Mon the monument top empire and everything like that i think namura tonga see what i'm saying they had lines of sight so we did you know at, our, as above so below our pyramids was lined up to orion's belt so that's where they get the three wise men following the eastern star which is the rise of, which will show you the rise of the sun easter we get easter from which we gonna i'm telling you i got something for all these goddamn festivals and holidays y'all niggas hollering about okay but i'm just showing you that's why it's important to know what perspective that you're looking at the world from okay now we're gonna get to that so now this is la Seon, okay now the story with la Seon is he roasted his own son listen now killed his own son roasted him and then tried serving him to zeus i think uh I don't know his son's name. I know the other one, Tantalus, his son's name was Pelops, which we're going to get into. So in return, see, because he, I don't know if what, what his aim was. I think they said he just wanted to fool Zeus or something like that or see if he was really uh, omniscient, knew, if he knew everything, which is that, you know, just, just, just think about this. Now, look at the psychology of this. You, you, your story consists of killing kids just to prove, just to see if you can prove a point. See what I'm saying? That shows you the sickness of the whole goddamn culture. You understand what I'm saying? This, this I mean, this is ridiculous here, family. This is ridiculous here. So now, you know, he kid now. What is the what is the title of this? The uh child sacrifice and cannibalism in the cro magnon culture. Okay, we dealing with this now. We dealing with this. Okay, now. You see, Lyceon, he was, uh, like I said, in return, he was turned into a wolf, okay? And this is where you get, if y'all ever seen that movie, The Underworld, uh, you know, where they got them, the vampire and the goddamn, uh, the werewolves and shit, okay? Uh, you know, that's where they, the, the lichens, that's where they get that from. You know, that's coming from Greek mythology, the motherfucking werewolves, because he was, and he was technically a damn werewolf, okay? But see, Zeus turned his ass into a wolf and then threw him up in the sky for you know to make him a constellation so i don't know why the hell you would throw him in the sky but there you go again that's why one of zeus epithets was the the uh the wolf see what i'm saying he was known as lycea zeus he was known as zeus Amon, uh zeus jupiter uh uh zeus pan see what i'm saying he was known as a lot of different you know, epithets because these, but see, the thing is, the energy that these things carry, this motherfucker's killing his son and roasting his son. So, you know, you, I don't think that's no epithet. I want that to be a part of me. I don't want that to be no expressing quality of me roasting my damn kids. You know, I'm Zeus and I'm known for motherfucker roasting his kids or paying somebody who run around this bitch half naked when well, I know half, he all the way naked, half man, half goat, and his penis stay hard all the time. And this motherfucker go out to men, women, kids, everything. You know what I'm saying? Everything moving. Why do they, why do they attribute their highest god, their highest deity, as which is Zeus? That motherfucker look like Jesus right there. But he's supposed to be Zeus. And this motherfucker is, you know, taking on the characteristics of these wicked ass beings. Because like I said, Zeus had took Ganymede, which is a little boy, and, and was kissing and raping on him. See? See, so you know that's that pain energy. That's that, and now look, that's that Lyceon energy because you know he is the father of the, the the humans. So he taking little boys who he created. That's just like taking your 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 kid. You know what I'm saying? And see, that's 
See, we got to deal with this shit, man. We got to deal with this shit. Stop playing. You got motherfuckers being happy to call themselves. It should really be a, a sin for Africans. It should be treason for Africans to go after and call themselves Greeks, man. That shit is crazy, man. These motherfuckers is wild. You, you see, and that's the thing, though. See, a lot of motherfucking black people, they thrive in the chaos, you know, because they can sit in and mingle in and blur the lines on different shit. See, they thrive just like some of these crow magnum That's why we got to deal with a lot of these motherfucking niggas and get them up out this bitch. I'm just keeping it a buck because all they going to do is open up the door for more decadent behavior, open up the door to let more of these goddamn delinquents into the community. That's all they going to be good for. See what I'm saying? Be the bridge when between the civil and the goddamn barbarian. They going to be that bridge. See, we got to sever it, man. We got to cut that shit all the way off because that's going to be our motherfucking cancer. That's going to be our... I'm just saying, man. Y'all can do what the fuck y'all want to do. But see, we... we $600 billion and we, we put money in fueling, you know, child sacrifice, rape, these stories, this crazy shit. This is what we putting our money to and don't even know it. See? See, that's see, that's what I'm saying when I mean when knowledge is present, faith is not is 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 not needed. You know what I'm saying? Faith and belief, that shit is not needed, man. We gotta come on all the way up out this shit, bro. We gotta come on all the way up out this shit. You know what I'm saying? That way. That's the way we need that way, nigga. Get the fuck out from over here. Cause this ain't what it is. Okay. Now her, another story. Now this is a story of Tantalus. Now he also murdered his son and tried to serve him to the gods. Now his son name was Pelops. Okay. So he cut him up. He done killed his son, cut him up, tried to feed him to the goddamn God. Now why am I showing y'all this? Because I'm showing you that even in they stories of they deities, you see what I'm saying? Some of the most prevalent stories in uh, of the deity in the pantheon got to deal with motherfuckers cutting up kids and cannibalism and raping kids. You know what I'm saying? Like this is this is not a good look. This is not a good look. Okay, you know. And then you see Hermes right here finna take uh, his ass to the goddamn underworld. Yeah, he he say, but yeah, you gotta go, buddy. You want some other shit? Okay, you want some whole other shit? All right. So we gotta understand, man. You know. We got to let all this shit go because a lot of this shit stem back. Uh, most of it, I'm going to say 95% of what we celebrate. Now, nah, I ain't going to say no 90. All of this shit. All 100% of this shit stem back from this Greek, you know, Greco Roman pedophile, uh, uh, cannibalistic bullshit. Okay. And this is not something that we need to be basing our goddamn existence off of. Okay. I don't celebrate no motherfucking Greeks and no or none of that. I celebrate black power. Let me come on back in here for the. I celebrate black power. I don't subscribe to now pale man religion. Don't do that. Don't do it at all. I don't subscribe to now pale man religion. I subscribe to black power. I practice black liberation. Okay, okay. Everything else, man, that shit is obsolete, man. You know what I'm saying? Because see, that come with hiccups. That come with strings attached. I don't need none of that. I, you know, motherfuckers. At festivals and see y'all like I said y'all do that in, in in Valentine's Day, thinking that it got something to do with love. Man, got not a goddamn thing to do with no love, man. Nothing. And I'm gonna break that shit down in later months. You know, well, you know, next, probably next month I drop that. You know what I'm saying? But this has nothing. These festivals and holidays ain't got nothing to do with black people. Okay, nothing to do with black people in a positive way. I'm gonna show you what it got to do with your black ass in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna show you that. Okay. Say I got more files on these niggas than the FBI. You understand what I'm saying? There ain't no getting away from me. Once I done already locked you in, bitch, you done for. Okay, so now this is Cronus. See him eating his kid? See him? See? And Cronus is who? The father of Zeus. Okay? He's the father of Zeus. All right? You see? And this, you know, like I said, this is, she shook. She got, she like, God damn, baby, can we have one key? Bitch, you better get your ass back. She, oh, okay, see? She shook over there. See what I'm saying? Motherfuckers, this dismembered. I mean, this is disturbing. But this is they head deity though in the in the Roman pantheon. Okay, this is the head deity. See, family scholarship does not go out of style once you know this and see. You can see this is the energy of the winter festivals on from the Crow Magnon man. Okay, he is the motherfucker who is Cronus. Saturn is over the the December and January months. See what I'm saying? 
He ushers in the darkness. What? Listen now. The the goat. He's the goat. And when the sun falls, the goat rises. So the fall of the sun is the rise of the goat. See, see, that's why they said you got to separate in the Bible. Jesus said you got to separate the sheep from the goat. Now, we understand that the sheep is the lamb. It's the ram. That's Aries. That's the spring. That's when the sun come out. We understand that winter, Cronus, Saturn, you know, Baphomet and all that goat shit. See, that's the winter time. And even Thor, see, because we didn't because we got to deal with that, which is going to come up in a minute. But even Thor, he rode on two goats. See what I'm saying? And that's see, Thor is gonna be key for November and Thanksgiving. He's even key in Christmas, but we're gonna deal with Thanksgiving right now because it's coming up in a couple of days. See, Thor is tied to Christmas, he's tied to Santa Claus, but he's also tied to that oak tree. See what I'm saying? That oak tree is sacred and, 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 and holy for Thanksgiving. You know what I'm saying? The, the leaf. Every time, but every time you see something they got to do with Thanksgiving, they're gonna have that turkey up there. Uh, some kind of acorn or the or the goddamn uh 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 oak leaf. See what I'm saying? And the oak tree was even uh favorite in America. I think it was uh called the most favorite tree in America. And Thor had an oak tree. See, Thor Thursday, Thor's day. That's why Thanksgiving is on every Thursday. Got to talk to you. Got to talk to you. So when you know that Thor is also Zeus. See what I'm saying? He's the see he's the uh Scandinavian Zeus. This is facts. When the when the Catholics, because all they did was take their ass across and, and conquer the pagans, and ain't nothing more pagan than the Catholic Church, because they just they put all kind of gods and and they they really was trying to conquer the Christians because they blame the Christians for not you know they blame the Christians for the bad things that was happening in the Roman Empire because the Christians wouldn't worship their gods. See, gods with an S, my nigga, not a not the Catholic shit y'all talking about. Talking about the pagan Roman uh, Empire, okay? Got to deal with this. So they took over the midwinter festival from what the other, all them goddamn, let me, let me come, really all them goddamn Europeans is pagans, okay? They went in and demonized being a Catholic church. Catholic church went in and demonized the goat worship of Thor and all that kind of shit. But see, I don't want y'all to think that the, the goat wasn't already evil because you finna see that they still do it right now in them Scandinavian countries. With a goddamn goat, they, you know, you know, this motherfucker was taking the kids. You know what I'm saying? He, the jewel barking and all this shit. So this was not a time for children. This niggas talking about, oh, you know, these winter for this is for the kids. This is not. You see this shit here? This is not for the kids. They was eating on kids. They was praying on kids. You see what I'm saying? Even the story of Saint Nicholas, the goddamn butcher in the town, uh, in the European town. I think it was somewhere in Dutch or whatever. Uh, or Germany or whatever, that the, the butcher had took three little boys or however many little boys and cut them up and was finna serve them to the damn town as meat. Now, goddamn, that right there show you that it's cannibalism all even in the goddamn German and Dutch countries. See, and since Santa Claus uh, was supposed to have found the little boys and, and uh, over under the power of God, you know, reassembled them and brought them back to life. See, that right there showing you right, and that's why we gotta get into God, a uh, uh, Santa Claus being a God, just like Thor is a God. See, we got to tie this in together so we understand all of these symbols in this midwinter, uh, midwinter months. See, they it, it, it conjures up evil uh, energies. You see what I'm saying? And see, we even got to understand that this Gregorian calendar came after the Moors had conquered Spain and been kicked out. So they didn't even formulate the Gregorian calendar calendar till about. The you know 1500s, the mid to late 1500s. So that's why when you look at the months, see what I'm saying? You got uh October meaning eight, October mean eight, but it's the tenth fucking month. It's because when they added January and February, am I right? December, yeah, January and February. See that that pushed some months back. See what I'm saying? It pushed them back. No, I'm sorry. It pushed them forward. My bad, because they added it at the, at the beginning. Yeah, because January, February. Yeah, so they added it January and February at the beginning. You know what I'm saying? So that's why November means nine, but it's the what is it? November, the eleven month. See what I'm saying? Uh, uh, goddamn, September means seven, but it's the ninth month because it was moved up because they added the months in. So that's just showing you how Cronus 
it was even in them times around the November time, he was, uh, you know, that 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 energy. So I know your people say, well, damn, you know, Christmas is in December, November is, is a month behind. Nah, but you got to understand when, when Cronus was already in place, nigga, he was in place before it was a January and February. So all they did was just fit that on in with the with the uh, coming of the months. You see what I'm saying? The coming of the January and February months. So we, I'm telling you, so in November, you can see how Thor can also translate not only to, you know, Santa Claus, but also who? Uh, 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 Zeus. See, it's even Zeus. See what I'm saying? Because Zeus, the son of Cronus, Cronus ruling those winter months. November would have been damn near the end. November, December. November, December would have been the end of the year at that point. So it would have been bringing in that that winter energy. I mean, that that you know that winter season and bringing in that Cronus energy. See, Cronus is the king. He's the crown. We get crown from chronology time. So we dealing with all of this, and I'm, I'm just gonna show you some more so you can see it's a common theme with him. See, it's a common theme with old Cronus. Okay. Common thing with uh, Cronus. So when you see Cronus, you can already think of because Santa, you know, Santa, if you look up old Nick in the in a dictionary, it say another word for Satan. Okay, so Santa is Satan. That's facts. That's facts. Okay. And you get the devil from the Bible and everything from the goat. Who is the goat? The goat is Cronus. Cronus rules over the winter. So you can see how the winter months is all about child sacrifice you know that's why you go sit your child on santa claus lap he in all red nigga you don't understand what that's meaning you don't understand what it's meaning this this is some sick shit okay this is some very sick shit that we dealing with man and i'm gonna tie it in because like i said the catholics all they did was morphed all these you know other pagan because they like i said the catholic church pagan the damn self but all they did was morph other pagan uh, uh, beliefs with the Dutch and all these other people who they conquered, you know, the Persians with Mithra. That's why when you go on Constantine Arch, that motherfucker got Mithric priest on his guy. He ain't got, listen, if they talk about Constantine, you know, ushered in Christianity, man, when you go to Christ, uh, 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 Constantine Arch, that motherfucker got Mithric priest. That's from Persia. Okay, so I don't understand. That's what I'm saying. The Roman Empire was just a hodge posh of different people that they conquered. You see what I'm saying? Let them in, let and they take their deity and morph them up a little bit. That's why when you look at Jesus, he got a whole lot of goddamn symbols and attributes of older deities: Bacchus and Dionysus, Saturn, uh, uh, Zeus, all these other. That because. Listen, just like, and I got to say this before we get into, just like I told y'all, Zeus was born in the cave, okay? His mama had to take him real, take him to Crete, okay, and gave uh, uh, Cronus a, a stone wrapped in swaddling clothes like Jesus, okay? And then she wrapped uh, baby Zeus in swaddling clothes also and gave her to some nymphs on, on, a, on, on the island of Crete. Then you go to the story of Jesus, now, I don't know how to tackle this, but I know a lot of you feeble-minded niggas are always talking about Jesus born in the manger. If you go to the goddamn Church of Nativity in Bethlehem, it say Jesus, and it shows Jesus was born in a cave or a grotto, a cave. I don't want to hear. So you can see the parallel to Jesus and Zeus. And that's going to be key when I make these symbol, when I make these symbol uh, parallels, because Jesus rolled around with a damn sickle. See, I'm, let me let me get on to this, okay? So, like I said, you see, in this Kronos, again, I'm just showing y'all, family, this is a, 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 you know, common theme from then, okay? I mean, you see? You see? Look, that's some crazy shit right there now. So, see, if Greece had a mystery, you best believe it's solved now. I'm all over the place like dog shit on these niggas, man. I ain't no way they can get away from them. You see what I'm saying? Y'all can sell these other niggas these dream. I'm getting to the bottom of it, okay? I'm getting to the bottom of it because I feel like, and I look at myself as a champion of the people. You understand what I'm saying? Ain't no paralysis in my analysis, okay? Ain't no paralysis in my analysis. I look over this shit 20, 30 times, and I go get the master teachers to get me laced up, okay? I, 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 I'm just so sick of all this goddamn coonery and buffoonery out here, okay? I'm sick of it. Sick of it. See, we 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 uh venerate these damn. Crackers and shit in these damn Cro-Magnon, mutated Cro-Magnon men 
all over the globe and don't even understand what is the downfall of us as a people okay so you see here and one thing another thing i want to show y'all and make clear is see i not said that chronos the empathy is the goat so every time you see chronos or saturn what you see that goat see that goat see him huh then over here you also see what chronos with the goat and see i told you he rules over aquarius and uh capricorn so that's why you see the little boy right here and that motherfucker look like he bleeding out the goddamn mouth see chronos probably done beat his ass up probably done went in his mouth man he done ran up in buddy mouth okay but see, this is a sign for Aquarius, the, the water barrel. You understand what I'm saying? See, he he got, and you, and you see what else is prominent too, that sickle. See that sickle? Okay, and then you see that, so that's the sign for Kronos. That's going to be key because that's going to be showing up in the religious artifact. Huh? Huh? And then, like I say, you see the sickle here too, so it ain't like in the goat. So it ain't like this is not a common thing, family. I got to show y'all this so you can... Listen, you gotta the first thing you gotta do is master the symbols. Once you can master the symbols, the words, you know, that that's gonna, you know, cause they gonna try to lead you down a goddamn road that don't lead you no goddamn where really. But once you can break down them symbols, you know, you can listen to what they saying, take it in and be like, oh, okay, I'm hearing you, motherfucker. I know you running game, but bitch, you don't know that I know. See what I'm saying? That you, you see, that's why you gotta use that as to your power. The, the shit that they don't know that you know. See, they already look at you as ignorant and everything like that. That work in your favor. So then you can see just off a of real account how if a motherfucker play you or not. You know what I'm saying? You go in there like you really don't know nothing and you trying to figure shit out and they and you see and you already know, you know what I'm saying? But you peeping in the cut and them motherfuckers get to talking about some crazy shit. Oh no, what Saturn was actually a... Nah, bitch, we done ran through the symbols. We already know Cronus is Saturn, and Saturn ain't nothing but uh, uh, Zeus' daddy. And we already know Zeus is Jesus. We know this, so you can't get that around from us, man. Jesus, and then look, Jesus is, I'm, I'm sorry, Zeus is Jupiter, then uh, Jesus is a Jew, okay? His best friend, who he said he was going to get the keys to the church to, was Peter. So his best friend was a Jew named Peter. Jew, Peter, Jupiter. You see what I'm saying? It's, I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. You can't get over on us. So that link right there, Jesus and Zeus, right there again. <laughs> you know what I'm talking And then on top of that, when he come back, he's supposed to be thundering all this shit, man. When, whenever Jesus died, it was thunder and, and, and earthquakes and all this shit was going down. That's that ain't nothing but Zeus, man. So we see the we see the uh the the the, the iconography and the symbolism for Cronus, the sickle, the goat. You know, you even see Aquarius over leaking. You know what I'm saying? We see that, okay? Now, when you go to the communist flag, okay, you know, what do you see? Huh? You see the hammer and you see the sickle. See, you see the Pope over here with it? See the Pope over here with it? That's why I had to bring this up because I'm showing you Thor. See, that's Thor's hammer. And this right here is also for Venus. See, for people who don't understand... And you go look at my own. Oh, did I drop that lecture yet? I don't know. But uh, Venus, through an eight-year course uh, in the cosmos, it makes us a, a star, a five-pointed star. You know what I'm saying? Throughout an eight-year, I'm sorry. Yeah, throughout eight years, it makes its five-pointed star. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so you even see right here. Now, the thing about Venus, because like I said, Venus is the mother of Cupid. What did I say about Jesus? He's another symbol because you got baby Jesus in the Catholics. And you got and, and you see the Catholics was the ones who had all them pagan G gods and, and different things like this. So line up that they have a, a little baby Jesus, but they they plan. See, they playing that role because they know that that baby Jesus is Eros. That's Cupid. See, because Eros in Greek is Cupid in Rome. You see what I'm saying? Now, who was Cupid mama? Venus. We just talked about how the symbols of Venus. Because Aphrodite is, is Greek, Venus is Roman. Then you got Mary, who's also Catholic, Roman. You know what I'm saying? And when you look at Aphrodite, her symbols are the dolphin, it's the rose, the dove. We can stop right there. When you go to Venus, they'll tell you that it's the same thing, the dolphin, the rose, the dove. Now, when you see the rose, see that line up with Valentine's Day in Cupid. See, the mama of Cupid is Venus. 
see through that, and you even see Venus and I mean uh, 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 Cupid and Eros riding a dolphin. When you go to the Byzantine church, one of the symbols around Christ's face is a dolphin. See that that even take you back to Apollo because Delphi and Apollo is the sun. You know, you know, he's a version of the sun or whatever the case may be. And uh, one of his symbols is the dolphin. When he pulled up on the sailors in Crete to save them, he appeared as a dolphin. See, he appeared as a, this is facts, okay? So we see through different symbols, Venus being Jesus. You see Thor, Thor is also Zeus, hey Zeus, Jesus. Then you see the sickle right here, which I'm gonna bring home. I'm gonna bring that home because I'm gonna also show you Jesus got the sickle. So he even got some ties to Cronus. And when they asked Jesus, when are you coming back? He said, nobody knows the time, not the hour, but the father. No one knows the time, nor the hour, but the father. I'm sorry, the day, nor the hour. Nobody knows the day, nor the hour, but the father. Come on, man. Come on, man. And I'm going to keep it real with you. This right here, that Saturn symbol right there, that's the same thing as this right here. You see the sickle. You know, I mean, it's a different uh, uh, formation and, and position, but the sickle right there and then the cross, I mean, it's, it's really the hammer, but they, they made it, it. It's a little cross or whatever. But it's the same thing as this right here. It's the same thing, family. See what I'm saying? Even the reef, I think that even represents Venus. The agriculture now, like, I think. I want to say, who is it? It might be. I don't know. But uh, you see that. Now, I'm, I ain't know. I'm for sure about this here. And I know this guy. Well, actually, the, the reef might actually do with Cronus also because Cronus was a, a harvest deity. He was an agricultural, uh, sorry, agricultural deity. See what I'm saying? So, I, so what we take from it, you see the communist flag. So we know that Cronus did with eating kids. He did with, you know, eating of his own. So you see, they got that Saturnian energy within their organizations, man. They don't give a damn about no damn. They doing this to their kids. So nigga, what the fuck you think that do to your kids? Okay, why, man? I when I had me, ain't no crackers. I'm not dealing with no cro magnet teaching my and being in close quarters to my kids for shit, nigga. Please. Okay, so you see this right here is this right here is this right here. Okay, so we 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 dealing with it, family. We knocking some barriers down. Okay, gotta got to gotta get you up out your ignorance now. Okay, we cannot deal with this illness, this psychonegrosis. You know, for the next two, three, four generations, we might not be here. Okay, if we keep thinking, uh, you know, keep on with this way of thinking, we may not be here. Okay, because niggas are always saying, just like in this situation with the uh uh you know George Floyd and Breonna Taylor and and even the goddamn coronavirus and presidential elections and shit, niggas are always saying, let me come on in. Niggas are always saying, Oh, we on the wrong, you know. I mean, it's like we always live, we living in history right now. This moment right here, we living in history, y'all. Man, we always on the wrong side of history, man. Every time black people is always on the wrong side of history. We got to get this shit together, okay? We got to get up out of this bullshit, these teachings, these traditions, these anything that got to do with the crow magnet, man, we need out. That's what I, and I'm just saying like that. We need out, okay? I'm a, I'm not going to deal with that long, I'm just gonna, you know, but I'm going to go on with this. Now, so you see right here what I'm showing, that's Thor's hammer, and you see Saturn with the sickle. Now, right here, you see he got the little sickle and the big sickle. I just want you to see that so when I show you these next couple slides, you're not confused. You're not saying, oh, he had the big one the last time. Nah, well, motherfucker, he had both. Okay, he had both. So when you think of Thor, you might as well think of Saturn because Thor is Zeus. Zeus' daddy is Cronus. They all the same thing. See, they they get these, they make different characters, but they be having damn near the same attributes. Okay, so you got to, that's why you got to break the code. Once you break that code, it's, it, nigga, you can go in there and decipher any motherfucking thing you want. See, that's why when I look at these holidays and shit, Y'all niggas be thinking of Jesus. Nigga, I'm nigga, I'm like, I'm on some Greek. Nigga, I'm thinking, oh man, I, I see, because see, I'm not looking on the surface. I can go back to the history and show you, you know, in their books or where in their culture this shit stem from. I don't have to go to, you know what I'm saying, go to no rabbi, no goddamn priest, or no imam, no goddamn rev to tell me shit. I ain't no nigga finna tell me a damn thing when it come down to these symbols and these goddamn pagan. Uh, Cro-Magnon, man. Ain't nobody gonna tell me nothing, okay? 
So you see, again, when you look at this symbol right here on the communist flag, okay, and right here when the Pope is holding up, God damn it, you just make sure you think of Thor and Saturn. Okay, we're going on. So now, like I was telling y'all early, Thor also has two ghosts who pull him on a chariot. Well, who gets pulled on the chariot to deliver goat, uh, uh, to, to deliver presents? Okay, that would be Santa. Now, also, you had God Jewel. See, now God Jewel was pre Santa and he delivered and was a little like a little dwarf, you know what I'm saying? A little known. And what he did is he delivered uh presents to kids around the Scandinavian and Dutch areas, I guess, on uh, with a goat. The goat pulled the uh, it wasn't a cherry, what was it like a what a what a Santa Claus got a goddamn sleigh, yeah, a sleigh. So, but he wasn't the motherfucking goat. wasn't Well, goddamn it, this is a myth. So he, the damn goat, could have been flying. I don't know. But when I see the Christmas cards and I see God Jewel, Jewel is where you get Jolly from. But it's see, it's spelled with a J. I just said Jewel, but it's actually Yule. See, this is why in them Christmas song they say the Yule Tide song. You know, deck the house with Baza. That shit. And then they they say talk about being uh wearing gay apparel. I say, hold on now. Niggas talking about gay apparel. I don't get down like that. See, but when you understand where this shit come from, you understand why they said gay apparel because you got the festival of fools where the priests, yes, the priests of the church would dress like women and shit. They sing old freaky songs and shit. See, they get drunk and all. See, this is what he, see, we singing these pagan songs and don't know a damn thing about none of this shit that they talking about. Osiris Child 360 gonna lay shut, baby. You believe that? You know, don't believe that. Know that. Okay, then get your ass on these channels and find that out. Okay. But now back to Thor Link. So you see right there, even on Thor uh Hammer, what he got? Two goats right there. See what I'm saying? He got two goats right there. So we link the 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 carriage or the uh yeah, the carriage that's pulled uh that's pulling Thor by the damn goats. We linking that. To Santa being pulled by the rain during the sleigh. Now to further go in on that. Now uh, Thor, his name is Thor Donner. Okay, Thor Donner. Now when you go to Santa's sleigh, he got Donner and Blitzen. You know what Donner and Blitzen stand for in German? Nigga, it stand for thunder and lightning. <laughs> what is what is Thor the god of? Thunder and lightning. Let me come on back in for the family to see my face. You got Thor's name is Thor Donner. Thor Donner. Then you even got a tree. Dame Donner's tree. But it was Thor's tree. See? Thor's tree. But his name is Thor Donner, so they call it Donner's tree. Now, what is significant about Donner? Santa Claus got two reindeer called Donner and Bledson. Thunder and lightning. Thor is the god of thunder and lightning. That's the link that's tying Thor on top of him being carried by the goats. God Jewel uh, delivering presents by the goats in a sleigh. And then you got Santa Claus, who is Jolly. See, J Yule, J-U-L, that J and that Y is interchangeable. And that's why you know that them Germans and shit made up that Jesus shit. Because they say Jesus and Yeheshua, the J and the Y. See, that's German. Ain't got nothing to do with no Hebrew. Ain't got nothing to do with no Hebrew. That's German in this origin. Stop playing with me. Okay, so now you got God Yule, which is spelled with the J. Okay, like I say, this is the early depiction of Santa carrying the presence with the goat. See, so that's when I said when the when the when the Roman Church, the Catholic Church, took over that midwinter festival, they changed that goat into like Krampus and shit. We're gonna deal with Krampus because that's I, I, I gotta show you that energy. That's pain. Okay, it's the same thing as pain. See this. See the goat in the. I don't care what segment or what section of Cro Magnon European that you're talking about. Okay. All of them revered that goddamn goat in some way. See what I'm saying? But see, the Catholic Church, because, you see, when you look at the etymology of kid, that's a baby goat. Okay, and what they, they sacrifice these goddamn goats and shit around this time. Now, what else is key about this, okay, 
uh, is Thor. See how he got the red hair? See? 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 In November, like I was saying, that was uh, called Block Monat. That was the Block Month. Okay, now what? Let me come on back out here because I see my shit kind of rich. You see, see, that's that's when they sacrifice not only the goat, but what else? They'd sacrifice a human. I, I listen, I'm man. Y'all need to pull up to my lecture uh, on Thursday, man. I'm gonna drop that home Thursday. That's gonna be my Thanksgiving. Y'all gotta pull up to that lecture on Thursday, man. See what I'm saying? Thursday, cause I'm dealing with. I got the listen. I got the uh, the, the video. From A and E in the History Channel, showing you, they showing you how the Vikings and the Vikings ain't nothing but Germanic tribes. Okay, the, they ain't nothing but German people. How they would they sacrifice the human? They, they giving it up. This is this ain't from me. This is from the History Channel, showing you, family. They showing you. So when you see Thor, usually he had that red. Hair. See that's that's from that blood. See, and that's why the Santa Claus. I mean, you know. The, the Christmas uh, colors is usually red and white, along with the green, too, because they got to do with that evergreen tree. But red and white from the blood and the and the snow. So, when the, you know, they hang the goddamn meat on the tree or the, whatever they hang it on, and the blood hitting the goddamn snow. See, that's where they get that from, that block monot, that blood month. Okay, and that's November. So that's why Thanksgiving in November is sacred. To the Germans and how I'm showing you that this shit is all pagan and cannibalistic. It's got to do with sacrifice, man. Okay, now this is a close up uh, of that. That what I see Jesus on the goddamn hammer. He on the hammer, y'all. And guess what? Now listen. Not only was Santa Claus a carpenter, what does a carpenter have to? He got to work with that hammer, throwing his hammer. Bam! There you go, right there. But now, not only was Santa Claus a carpenter. Jesus was a carpenter, okay? Remember when he was 12 and said, I got to be about my father's business, huh? He was talking about Joseph being a carpenter. So Jesus also, and I should have put some of them all the depictions of his ass working with wood. See, they got some pictures. See, but niggas don't know about all they know about is Jesus with the heart. We're going to get on that heart on my loop of cow, you joint. And see, I don't know about Jesus with the with the goddamn uh, sickle right here, huh? And the crown, see? Cronus to hold on now. Let me go back to y'all niggas. See, Cronus got to deal with the crown. See the crown. See the crown. Do you see, it? nigga? Do you see it? And then you come here, see Jesus with the sickle and the motherfucking crown. With the sickle and the motherfucking. What does the sickle represent? Cronus, child sacrifice, Eden. See, and you and you wonder, man. Then you look at how many motherfucking generations of black geniuses and shit done went by the wayside because they worried about a goddamn uh a rapture because they you know they you know these catholic this church this religion has eaten and taken the kids symbolically now a lot of them really have eaten the goddamn kids but i'm saying in this case eating is it as in they sacrificing the motherfuckers they they killing them okay they don't give a damn about because they don't want nobody to rise to be better than them that's the whole thing. So you got Cronus and Jesus and all this energy symbolized by the church. And they use it as a facade, the cheese on the trap, the good shit. You know, they use that as the cheese on the trap. Oh, he died for our sins. And oh, he's, you know, the savior. The, and he was the, See, that's the cheese on the motherfucking trap. So you can be morally tied and emotionally tied to the story. But behind closed doors, these goddamn deities is uh, cannibalistic. Child sacrificial in nature. And hey, don't get it, nigga. That's why Jesus talked about eating my body and drinking my blood. Nigga, that's cannibalistic, man. That's cannibalistic, man. Okay? That's what that's what that is. Okay. And now, like I said, all these churches and shit, all come, you know, kids come up missing. They out there killing all these goddamn kids. All kind of shit. Okay. But that's key right there. See Jesus with that. And I got some more with him with that goddamn sickle, too. Okay. So now you see the Grim Reaper. See, you see him with that sickle. See? Now, and then also you see that motherfucker with them crosses. Now that's gonna be key also. Okay. And the reason it's key is because we done talked about uh, you know, uh uh, uh Zeus and we done talked about Cronus and all of that. But we gotta tie this in to Thor and his daddy. See, because who was his daddy? His daddy was Odin. Okay, that's what you Wednesday is Woden, that's Odin Day. 
So you got the Holy Trinity right there. Wednesday, Odin, Thor, it's Thursday, Thursday, Friday, his mama, Frigga, Frigga, Friday. Okay? So you got the Holy Trinity right there. This is our, nigga, this ain't got shit to do with no Jesus, God, and no Holy Spirit, nigga. This shit is from Cro-Magnon men. And once you understand what these deities is, because Odin, Odin name was also Grimnir. And that means the hooded one. Okay, that means the hooded one. So, like I say, you see here, see the sickle? Who that reminds you? That's Cronus, nigga. Cronus was the reaper. He was the he was the harvest, you know, uh, he was the harvest deity. And see, you know, even though the sick, the sickle was used to reap goddamn, you know, the harvest, he reaped them goddamn souls too. See what I'm saying? And then Jesus called himself the bring of light. Okay, okay. <laughs> nigga, see that why you got that? Nigga, what kind of light, nigga? Because, nigga, if it ain't from that sun, see, that's that elusive light. Illusion. Ill, nigga. Illusion. You know what I'm saying? Well, motherfucker, he, it look good from a distance. And you walk up on that motherfucker, and he turn into that Grim Reaper on your ass. See what I'm saying? And I'm going to niggas think it's funny in this. Oh, man, I'm just, nah, nigga, this is real spirit, holy field. You see what I'm talking about? This is some real shit. You know, this is some, th these is cold, hard facts. That's, that niggas cannot refute, okay? So like I said, when you go on, you see Odin with the hood. He got his staff. See, he was a sorcerer and shit. And like I said, his name was also Grimnir, the hooded one. See, he, Grim, huh? Grim Reaper. See, and he the father of Zeus. Now listen, listen to me now. You got Odin, the father of who? Uh, uh, Thor, we already said, we know, you can look this shit up, man. Thor is nothing but Zeus. The father of Zeus is Kronos. So you already see Odin, Kronos, you already see that. That motherfucker is the Grim Reaper, and that's why uh, Grimore, nigga, that's speech, but that's also casting spells. See? And then you got Grammar. Grammar comes out of Grimore, out of Grim, Odin. See? And that's why, man, look, terminology, that's terminal, that's death. See, terminology, Grimore, Grimnir, Grim Reaper, Odin, you see, Zeus, Cronus, you can already see right now, he don't want the next generations to set up for greatness. I'm just showing you the mentality. I mean, you already know that, uh, uh, you know, British was the first people over here in America. Well, I ain't going to say the first, but the first colony that was really established in America was a colony of Britain. That's facts. Okay, now, when we go back, we rewind back a little bit. Who do you find that colonized and took over Britain? You see the, the well, they actually the second people, but if we're going back in time, the first people we have run into will be the Vikings. Okay? The Vikings, the Germanic tribes. See, now, if you go back a little bit more, in about, oh, it was like 40-something AD, 48 AD, you had the Romans. See what I'm saying? Now, Je Zeus and Jupiter was the Romans that went into England, which was the British, you know, uh, the British Isles, and they took that over. So you can see where the, the Roman paraphernalia would be left in England. Then when the, you know, Romans had to leave there because they had to go to home base because the Germans were whooping their ass at home base. Then the, the damn Vikings came in around, I think the eighth or ninth century, which, you know, eighth and ninth century, to the British Isles and took it over. So that's where you get Odin and Thor and all these people from. That's why the days of the week is split up between German and Latin. You got, got English, first of all, is a Germanic language. That's what you got to understand. But you also got hints of Greek, pharmacy, pharmacaia. That's witchcraft in Greek. You got different uh, economy, come from oikos. That, that's Greek, you know what I'm saying? So even different words still coming from the greek and roman persuasion the latin persuasion but the whole total language is considered germanic so but you can see the british that came here bringing english was a a, a you know just bastard children from the damn vikings the, the the germans who came in and settled in england and in all of the british isles so you see right there man that's what i'm saying Zeus is nothing. Zeus and Thor is the same damn people. And if Zeus, daddy is Kronos, and, and Thor, daddy is Odin, then goddamn Odin and Thor, I'm sorry, Odin and Kronos or Odin and Saturn is the same people. 
See what I'm saying? That's why they out got the beard, the old white man look. You know what I'm saying? You know, the, the, you know, you might add a hood or something on, close one eye, but shit, it's the same damn people, man. It's the same damn people. Okay, let me see. So, yeah, so we looking at say, okay, we talked about the oak tree. We know that Grim, uh, Grim near the hooded one. That's Thor. I mean, sorry, that's Odin. Okay, and then Odin in them even had a goat hydrant. So the goat in the in the old white man type, that shit is standard, man. This is standard. So we showing you through our religion. There you see Jesus with the hood on. Huh? See Jesus with the hood on. Same thing as goddamn Odin with the goddamn hood on. Because he's the same, he's the same deity. He's just a combination of different deities. See, now look here. See? Then go look up Revelation 14, 14, 14 through 20. And he talk about how he the harvest and he's the reaper. G, being Jesus now. And you see what he got in his hand now. And he got the, see what I tell you, Saturn was an agricultural god. See, he got the crown, chronos, the agriculture, and the damn sickle. And he got the big sickle right here in case you niggas want, well, he ain't got the grim reaper one. Nah, bitch, he got the grim reaper one too. See, see, so I don't want nobody to say that this is far-fetched from anything. We know what we talking about over here. I can promise you that. We know exactly what we talking about over here, family. You know what I'm saying? This shit is this shit is ridiculous. And and for anybody who would dare say that that this is a stretch, nigga, you gotta be out your goddamn mind. See, that's a nigga who wanna prepare, who wanna perpetuate the fraud. See, he see that that's that's what I'm saying. Them niggas that live in chaos, they wanna perpetuate the fraud so they can live freely. You know what I'm saying? They don't have to pick a side. They can be this side one day. This side another day. Nah, bitch. Nah, we nah. Either you black power or you not. See, we 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 drawing a line right now. So when you see these deities, these symbols, this ain't got nothing to do with the African legacy. That's facts. Okay, that's facts. Okay. Now let's keep going. See right here, we still got more. I'm just showing you this is more ancient. I ain't gonna call no white man ancient, but this is more older depictions of Kronos. What do you see? What's got the sickle? That's standard. You see here, common theme, the goat. See, but right here is the Capricorn. So there you see tying it to, you know, uh, Saturn that, that in December. And then you see he got the baby in his hand. Finna eat this motherfucker up. Finna go upside his head. Even though this might be another, uh, like, version of goddamn Aquarius also. But damn that. We already know Saturn be eating his kids. So we're going to charge that to the game on that one. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so now we keep going, and then I mean, I'm just showing you this is key, man. That goat that's what y'all that goat because we finna touch into this goat shit. Okay, so you see the goat there, that, that goat ain't left his side yet, and you see what he got the man with the pitcher of water, and then what else? Can't forget that baby, and you see, he finna go, he finna go in again, too. So that's why I say, man, y'all need people who are well, man, well, can't we just get along? Nah, man, I'm not trying to get along with no motherfucker who is out eating no kids and shit, man. I ain't, and, and you know, if your, because if your deity is like that, again, your deity is a reflection of the culture, that let me know what you doing. And nigga, if you doing that to your kids, I already know what you going to be doing to my kids. See what I'm saying? That right there is what you call conquest through cultural assimilation. See what I'm saying? They come in and try to assimilate the deity. Ah, oh, well, man, well, Saturn was, you know, was Zeus, was Zeus Amon, so ain't that in ain't that in Egypt? Bitch, shut up. That ain't got nothing to do with no Egypt or no black people, okay? That's somebody trying to co-op your goddamn uh, system to to, to uh, find his way into your culture so then he can become the king deity. See? See? So he can set up Cronuses around the goddamn region. No, nigga, that ain't got shit to do with it. Oh, man, what a goat. Ain't that the rent? No, nigga, ain't no goddamn. There were no damn goat deities in no Egypt, nigga. We talking about rams, nigga. We talking about, you know, uh, warrior deities. Ain't no goddamn capricious ass goats running, goat deities running around that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? See, that's that paralysis of analysis. They banking on you niggas not even knowing your own goddamn coach. Huh? I say they banking on you not even knowing your own goddamn coach. This why, nigga, I don't give a goddamn if you got so many degrees, they call you Dr. Fahrenheit. That shit don't phase me, man. Nigga, you, you, you want to turn my head? Know something about your people. Celebrate some black people. Nigga, put some black liberation on your mind, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? That's going to get you right. Okay, so now we're going into the goat. So that's why I was saying, now we're dealing with pain. See, this is the this is pain energy. See, he you know, he 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 laying with goats. That motherfucker going, see, I, 
That's common, y'all. This is so bestiality. And then I should have put in a goddamn uh painting when they had the man going into the goddamn goat. One of them Greeks. One of them Greeks. See what I'm saying? You see right here. See, paint he see, he got the goat head right here. He running after the boy. He running after the boy, y'all. On hard. He rock hard. No homo though. But you see, then he over here, he finna rape, he finna take and rape the woman. Okay. So what we showing you this sick energy. We showing you the sick energy tied to so every time you see them goats and shit, just know that you dealing with a, a sick ass crow magnet man. And I'm and I'm gonna be and I'm gonna see like I said, Venus was known by them scallop shells. You know what I'm saying? And Aphrodite known by them scallop shells. Now it's key too, cause I'm gonna just throw this out because it's gonna be one of my lips. This key too, because what you see, Jesus got baptized with the what? That scallop shell. Okay. See, see, we gotta know this, and and that's just tying it back to what Cupid being a mother, uh, Venus being a mother, Cupid, Venus being morphed into Mary, Mary having Jesus. You see the baby in there. You see what I'm saying? Then you see the Catholic Church. Why they love the baby Jesus so much? Because it ties back to the Cupid and everything. And what do they do when they baptize the kid? They baptize them with the scallop shell. We dealing with some shit today, man. Say, ain't nobody gonna give you this, man. You're not going to get this shit nowhere else, man. That's why you need to support the brother, man. Support me because every time I do it big, you best believe the family going to be right there uh, celebrating in the success also because I'm turning the black dollar into something that we can all enjoy and come up out for. Nigga, we all going to benefit from this. Ain't none of that going back to the crow magnet, man. Giving money. Nah, we done with that, man. We need our own shit. I'm not looking for nobody to partner up. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, with, I'm for my people. If I do this shit by myself... I'm going to do it by myself. I just need the family to support me on my goddamn endeavors and just know you're going to reap the benefit of this goddamn, this fruit we're going to harvest. You understand what I'm saying? This is real spill, family. Okay, this is liberating energy. This is liberating information. I'm, I'm not doing this shit for nobody. I'm doing this for my people. This why I always, I, this why I always say, man, I'm not for the people. I'm for my people. I'm not for... Mankind, I'm for African kind, god damn it. That's who I'm for. I don't make no, listen, ain't no questioning. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to uh uh, uh think or hope or, or, or try to no bitch. I'm gonna let you know I'm tired. I'm for my folk. God damn, if you ain't for my if, if you ain't got nothing to do with my people, you need to, you know what I'm saying, you need to move the fuck away from around from me. Cause I don't I don't I, I'm and listen, this is all I wanna do. This is all I wanna do is enlighten my people. Cause when I see us come up on off this 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 bullshit we on, I know that I had a great goddamn hand in playing with it. See what I'm saying? I had a great hand in playing with our liberation. See, that's what that's what get me going, nigga. I got greatness on my mind. All you other niggas, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do, okay? But I ain't for that shit, nigga. Scholarship don't go out of style, and I know damn well these niggas cannot fuck with the African scholarship, okay? They can't. <laughs> Can't withstand it. Okay, now, now we're dealing with Krampus. Okay, so we seen Pan and his energy. And when you see Krampus, he half goat, half man. But see, also, which I'm gonna deal with and see, this is why we shouldn't be giving our money to these goddamn uh, uh organizations and church affiliations and shit, is because <clears throat> see, they more Krampus into black Pete. See, but see, Krampus and and look. Krampus and Santa Claus or Saint, whatever the fuck they want to call them, St. Nicholas, Santa Claus, you know, because you got, depending on what region you in in Europe, you got different uh, derivatives of Santa Claus or what, what we know as Santa Claus over here in America, okay, which is just a commercialized version because you had Santa Claus and them beating the shit out of kids over there in Europe. See why I say this wasn't, this ain't had shit to do with no goddamn uh uh children's holiday or wouldn't have been the goddamn thing about it. they didn't want to hear about no goddamn santa claus you better not pout you better not cry you better not something i'm telling you why santa claus okay yeah, i already knew santa claus gonna, he might beat the shit out of you okay so that's probably why you you might you don't want to pout and cry and and whatever the fuck the other rest of that shit i don't i don't celebrate that shit i don't participate in none of that so I don't know no goddamn theme songs and no Santa. Cause like I said, that motherfucker name Old Nick means the uh the uh, the devil, Satan. That's what it means. Look it up in Webster's dictionary, Miriam Webster dictionary. Just look, type in, and I should have put it. Old Nick. It's gonna say another name for the devil. 
Then Nicholas means conqueror of the people. Huh? See, that white name was Saint Nicholas. Now he never existed because the Catholic Church just made saints up on the fly. You know, if it fit the situation, they're gonna make a goddamn saint over the vanquished people so they have something to better be affiliated with or and, and to amalgamate that goddamn, you know, Catholic persuasion into them pagan uh traditions and beliefs. That's all it was. But like I say, Krampus and goddamn and, and, and Santa Claus or uh Saint Nicholas was two sides of the same goddamn coin. But see what they did was and he and and and, and uh Krampus is always black. See, so you gotta understand that in them duck in them Dutch countries and shit, them was like the first fucking people in the slave trade, the Dutch West Indies, the Dutch East Indies, and all that. So them was the first people in the goddamn slave trade, family. Okay. So when you see Krampus with the chains on them, and then they even got over there uh uh black Pete with chains on them, see that signifying two things. One is signifying uh, you know, the Catholic Church putting chains on the uh the pagans. From around the way, because what do they have? I just showed you Thor with the goat. You had Odin with the goat. You you know you got different deities with goats. See what I'm saying? So they deified the goat, but on top of that, they made the demon the black man. So you niggas is out here celebrating these goddamn holidays and understand you the motherfucking devil. <laughs> okay, you is the devil, nigga. That's what I'm saying, but we don't. We have no idea. What the fuck we don't because we don't understand them symbols. Even in your driving class, nigga, most of the goddamn test uh, is symbols, nigga. It's symbols. You got to learn the goddamn symbols before any motherfucking thing. Before you even get your ass on the goddamn road. Okay? So we got to break down these symbols to understand. So when you see Krampus, you also need to see Black Pete. But you need to see, you know, these other got Pan and all these other goddamn Goat deities too, you know. It needs to be all synonymous with 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 the with the paradigm of the Cro Magnon man. Okay, so as we go on, that shit was celebrated like December sixth, but it just show you how it's been morphing because it, you know, December sixth and then Saturnalia again. See Saturnalia. See Saturnalia is around what that that winter festival Saturn Cronus. See. So that was the that was the midwinter fest uh a midwinter pagan festival. That was the mother of goddamn festival. That was the granddaddy of them all. See what I'm saying? And that and it extended. See it, it even went from like December 17th to January 1st and all. So you got different days with this shit. Then they even got a Krampus day. See, they got a Krampus day with this shit. And Krampus, like I said, he the one that got them take the kids and and, and well, let me just show. You. See, see, see Krampus. See him dumping the kid in the damn knapsack, and that's where you get kidnapped from. You know what you also see out there? Them goddamn mushrooms. You niggas be talking about y'all be jumping into them goddamn fourth and fifth goddamn dimensions and shit. Can't deal with reality. But them, because them damn Germans and them Nordics and shit, them niggas used to get high on them damn mushrooms. And see, that's why they had them berserkers. See, you got the berserkers. That's when they go berserk. You got. Uh, low key, that was a goddamn German Scandinavian god, and he was the god of mischief. Okay, and this motherfucker, you know, low key, his ass that way you get he you low out on the nigga. See what I'm saying? I'm low out on the nigga, you know what I'm saying? Or go loco. See, now all that's where all this shit come from. See, so you niggas get and, and on mushrooms and the magic mushroom, and shit, you better sit your magic ass down some goddamn where. Jumping into these goddamn dem nigga, you got war at home, nigga. You need to deal with home base. You ain't gotta jump to no goddamn planets to look for no Star Wars, motherfucker. You got a planetary war right here. So if you want to make your, uh, you know, story, uh, what is it? What is it when you write the got a story script that motherfucker? It needs to be about your ten toes being on Mother Earth fighting these crow magnon men to keep your goddamn dollar in your pocket. If you do not have a righteous black dollar or righteous black cause to put that black dollar towards, motherfucker, keep it. Save your dollar so it can save you later on. You know what I'm saying? Purchase with a purpose. You cannot... See? Look at her. Look at what they did. You see how they got Krampus here? See how he Krampus right here stuffing him in a damn sack? Then you see here, now this Black Pete. I'm going to show you another... See, so they dress up in blackface over there. You see right here. You see, you see the black P doll up there. Okay, so they go and you see him finna snatch the goddamn kids up. See, this is a continuation of that 
Kronos energy. See that Sat Saturnian energy, because Kronos is Saturn. It you know, and you got the look at this. Got the kids' skulls and shit on the ground. Boy, that's that's disturbing. Okay. See, and then y'all niggas go out there and patronize these goddamn Cro Magnon traditions and shit. Okay. And don't understand how when they go take they got the money that you done gave to them. They go over there and go dress up in blackface and make fun of us and shit and degrade our goddamn people. You know what I'm saying? Got you got brothers and sisters over there in them damn Scandinavian lands, black people fighting them damn Germans and shit because they saying that that black peak shit is racist. See, saying it's racist, and we sit up here and give up. We, well, it's just for the kid. Bitch, shut up. It ain't for no damn kids. This shit, you know, we could do other things for the goddamn kids. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? We, I mean, this right here is not gonna cut it though. This is not going to cut it. You can see Krampus and he and Krampus go take the kids to hell. He drag them to hell and beat the shit out of them. And they, you know, I mean, it's all kind of shit tied in with this. You know what I'm saying? But when you see here and see him putting the kid in the back, then you look here. Look, at see, 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 see him putting the kid. And you see Santa Claus right there, too. See, he take parts of it, too. See, the mom and the daddy ain't doing shit about it. She might, she look a little, you know, concerned, but and she ain't finna do shit because this is the church. See, this is the church here. See what I'm saying? See, they instituted Santa Claus and shit to, to be over the shit. So when they want to bring in the commercialism, it's nothing. It's just an easy transition. You know what I'm saying? But they wanted to make sure that they was over the pagan. So they festival, they festival uh, being the, the Catholic festival of the midwinter pagan holidays and festivals was the premier one. They wanted to make sure they was on top and everything. So whenever you tie back to it, it was going to be a saint or something like that, which is why you got old Saint Nicholas. That motherfucker got the goddamn, what is that shit called? A, a day gun, miter or something like that. That's in the Catholic Church, okay? So you see, look right here, you see him, white boy in, in blackface, okay, stuffing the kid, and that's no different from right here, Black Pete stuffing the kid in the goddamn th and then right here you see they got this motherfucker like a deranged uh psychopath blood coming all down his face and shit you see what uh damn axe in his hand with blood and see and you know he's doing this to kids see it's the kids you know what i'm saying so we already know what that's about niggas talking about it well you know i'm not gonna get into all that because that's not the message but you can see right here these damn these winter festivals christmas this is around christmas time this is the Yule shit, Christmas and all that. Now, we just came from talking about Thor and how he was tied to Thanksgiving. See, I, I'm, I'm showing you all this family in a continuation, not just Christmas, not just Thanksgiving, not just Valentine's Day. I'm showing you all this shit because in, in reality, all this these different holidays that we got is just a continuation of one damn festival. The Even in Christmas, you would think it was Halloween around there. They got them damn scary masks. You got these motherfucking witches and shit yes witches carrying presents you got grilla you got frog percher i'm tackling all of that in my uh lectures on christmas i think i'm dropping by i got about three four goddamn days of christmas that we drop because nigga, once you think about it you say okay in the song you say on the first day of christmas my chula on the second day of christmas nigga, it's only one day in christmas but they got them 12 days in the yule see so you got to tie it back to the yule and this right here is the Yule festivals. You, you, when you're dealing with Black Pete and Krampus and all of that, when you're dealing with them goddamn Cro Magnum men running around in blackface, you know, like you, this is what they portraying with the red lips and shit. See, that's that, that's Christmas, that's Yule. So, and, and, and you know, and like I said, before 15, whatever, when they introduced the uh, Gregorian calendar, motherfucker, it was up to 10 months. It wasn't no 12 fucking months. Okay, it stopped at December. You know what I'm saying? January and February was added last. So you can see how November would have added into them festival months. So you see how Thor, Thursday, Thanksgiving would line up. November, Black Month. See what I'm saying? The Blood Month, Black Monat. Y'all look that shit up. Okay, and goddamn, you really ain't got to because I'm finna drop that fire on these niggas. Okay, y'all niggas talking about Christopher Columbus. Man, I, look, that's, that's child's play. That's petty shit. I don't deal with no petty shit. I'm dropping bombs, nigga. I drops bombs. Nigga, when I drop that information, nigga, I'm t the whole, nigga's whole foundation depletes. This shit, Hydra, nigga, this shit, 
the equivalent of about a million hydrogen bombs what I do to the mind. You understand what I'm saying? You might be mad. You might. You ain't got to give my props, bitch, as long as you start changing your motherfucking life. That's all I give a damn about a part of this. You know what I'm saying? All the other shit. I, I, nigga, I'm going to get mine. You best believe that. I ain't worried about But my people, that's my goddamn prerogative and that's my priority. And we cannot. We cannot. We got. Nigga, like I said, these motherfucking holidays and shit ring in $600 billion annually. Look this shit up. $600 billion. Man, and we get him our money for them to do shit like this to degrade us. Because listen, now if they, uh, you know, if we as black people is LinkedIn and synonymous with Krampus and they uh, culture, and Krampus is the devil, and they look at us as black people as Krampus, then they look at us as the devil. So that would you know ordain. The shit that they was doing to us, making us because Black Pete is Santa Claus' slave, nigga. That's his slave. That is his slave. So you see, I mean, nigga, that's justifying our slavery. That's justifying our slavery, dumbass, nigga. When we go back out there and uh, worship Jesus and all this shit on 25th, 25th of December, that's what the fuck I'm talking about, man. Y'all, I'm getting turned. I'm getting turned because. I, I can't go. For, I got to turn this goddamn slot. I can't go for that. Then you come over here. See, I'm telling you, this is going to be dealing with Lupa Kelly. See, you see Krampus right here. This nigga done made, a, got, made heart faces up out of the kids' faces. God damn. Got some more in his bag. He done, he done made, he done called. See, and y'all niggas, see what I'm saying? This was a, a continuation of one fucking festival so even when you go into goddamn valentine's day okay which you don't even know saint valentine y'all niggas talking about valentine day about loving the opposite sex or loving women and loving or whatever the fuck it is. nigga saint valentine got killed by claudius he was uh beheaded and executed because he was loving on a woman see so uh nigga I, i'm not trying to hear none of that shit i'm not trying to hear none of that shit y'all niggas just making up out the side of y'all neck man because that's some bullshit you see right here this now you got now we done already dealt with what the fuck pan be doing dragging kids and be, beating the shit out of kid with that switch and you see they look like one of them see all you gotta do is throw a little uh 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 stick on the end of this right here that be a goddamn broomstick so you see with them witches i'm telling you this is all coming out of that scandinavian nordic culture scandinavia the land of the scandals Okay, the berserkers, and you got the Visigoths and the Vandals. That's a German, them Germanic tribe. So you see, you know that when you vandalize something, they done told some shit. See, that's where they get that vandalism shit from. See what I'm saying? And then when look, when you look at what happened in, uh, when North Carolina had lost their game, I think a couple years back, you see them goddamn white people out there turning cars over and burning shit up. See, that's their nature. That's their nature. That's what they do. That is what they do. And you motherfuckers want to make excuses for these goddamn crow magnet beasts. You niggas want to go link up with, and oh, they just need love and love is all, bitch. They need to be dealt with. Okay? If a motherfucker uh, running around the hood stealing bikes and shit, the first, you don't say the first, oh, he needs love. He need, No, that motherfucker need to be get his ass beat. He need his ass whooped. Okay? You know, I mean, that's just that's point. But when we get to the goddamn Cro Magnon man, niggas want, like I say, you want to read a book, you want to om and chant, you need another scripture to goddamn read instead of going upside this motherfucker head. Okay, so I, you know, man, look, y'all can say what the fuck you want. Okay, now this, this obviously, this shit has been embedded in this man genome since his, his since his origin, since his conception. This motherfucker has been a cannibalistic. Sacri child sacrificial motherfucker. Why? Because we've touched on his deities. We've touched on his culture. We've touched on his traditions and holidays and all of them are centered around the same damn thing. Okay? So, nigga, we... Let me... Listen. Okay? You know, you can go and get you a goddamn animal and you can train that motherfucker whether it be dog or cat. They got motherfucking parrots singing and shit. You know, singing songs. They can train a parrot to sing a song. You got dogs that they can put through obstacle courses. These motherfuckers, you know, you, you go get your slippers and go get the newspaper. It don't take too long. Maybe a month, you know, maybe two months. Okay, you can train a goddamn killer whale. You know, they playing with killer whales and seals and shit. 
okay? Training them to do, now these is animals that can't even speak English. Here it is, right here, okay? You can do that shit in a matter of months, okay? Now you've been dealing with this damn Caucasoid Cro-Magnon man for Lord knows how long, thou umpteen thousand years. This motherfucker has made traditions out of sacrificing it. And you mean to tell me you, you gonna be stuck on trying to change him? You gonna be waiting to, to see what he gonna do? Hey, nigga, I can tell you what he gonna do, okay? Ain't no getting him up out of his ways or her up out of her ways, okay? So best thing for you to do is you let them do them and come up with a way to make sure they don't ever come in between you and your shit again, okay? You see what I'm saying? Niggas cannot go out here and train dogs and shit. You, you can't train this cro Magnon man to love a goddamn human. We've been over here in this goddamn country with him for 400 years. Come on now. Do you see what the lapse is, my nigga? God damn. Now, like I say, here, here you go here. You got Krampus. Now, you see Krampus and you see Seneca. They both over the back. Now, these is babies, babies. Now, they say that, you know, Krampus is supposed to just go get the little kids that's being bad. These is kids that's goddamn like they just came up out the womb not too long ago. So, it's deeper than some goddamn kids being bad. See what I'm saying? This is, this is... This, this is more than just a motherfucking kid not doing right, goddamn it, on, on Christmas Day or Christmas Eve. You see, and then you see right here, that motherfucker got that uh, what's that hawk? The crucible. That's that, that's that crucible. That's that one, uh, that staff for the of the of the church. See, so you see right there that see the church. But now I'm just saying though, you see the kids in these damn sacks, the knapsack, where you get kidnapped from. See him in these knapsacks and shit. He from the God damn, he finna, I don't, I mean, well, you can just use your imagination. This motherfucker got the pitchfork up, kids, right? You already know what's finna go down, okay? And it look like he can't wait to get his pedophile act on either, okay? So this ain't got nothing to do with no goddamn kids being bad. These motherfuckers going to go get babies. These, listen, they going to go get babies, not kids, chill babies, okay? And got, uh, and shit, these, these you know what I'm saying? This two, I know this is me, but these is two different goddamn, you know, pictures. And these, are, I mean, now, so we already know what time it is, man. These niggas, look, and that Zeke Santa, Santa, all he want to do is talk to the kids. He don't want to talk to no grown up. He just talking to the kids. Man, this is some sick shit right here. Okay, this is some very disturbing shit, right? Y'all take this in, family. Okay, y'all take this in. This is more than just. This is their nature. This ain't got nothing to do with no bad kids. This got to do with a bad culture. Okay? Bad culture. That's what it's about. You can goddamn me play with yourself all the fuck you want, but you need to come to the realizations and grips of things. This shit is not for black people. Now, if they find some kind of liberation, if they find some kind of, uh, what do I say, some kind of moxie up out of this shit to, you know, uh, perpetuate this goddamn religion and this, these holidays, then let them. That's their business. It's not for us. Okay, it's not for us. That's all I'm saying, family. It ain't for us. We're moving on. Okay, so you see right here, this is Christmas time. You see the, the goddamn, you see this motherfucker, he done wheelbarrow her ass off. He wheelbarrow, she screaming like a motherfucker. Everything else in the, in the damn picture happy. The moon happy. Goddamn, uh, Frosty the Snowman is happy. Okay, Cramp is happy. This motherfucker knows she finna get her ass uh, potentially tortured. Ain't no potential. She gonna get tortured. Potentially eating the fuck up. Okay, and getting taken off the head. Okay, cause cause that nigga Krampus did not play no games. We need to you need to know that off the rip. Okay, so I'm showing you different seasons. We just seen Valentine's Day. You go back. Okay, you, you see Valentine's Day. This right here just look like any given day right here. Okay, maybe. And this right here is Christmas. See? That's Christmas. Motherfucking Krampus up there with me. He finna wheel her ass off to hell. All right? Okay, now. See, now, then you see, this, like I said, man, they still doing this shit over there in them damn uh, countries, them Nordic Scandinavian countries. So this ain't got a bitch ass thing to do with no goddamn Jesus. Okay? Do you see this motherfucker got the damn uh, Santa Claus? The, uh, overthrow on with the red and they you know had a little cotton over for the cuffs and shit and then it, see you got the hood too see you got the hood that grim near that because you know 
Odin, Grimnir, they, they, they come out that same Scandinavian region as this Krampus and shit. You got the baby in the back. See, they got the baby in the Man, they never gave this shit up, family. They ain't never gave this shit up. You know, they still doing it. You got nothing to do with no damn Jesus, no damn religion. This man, look, y'all better get up off that shit. Then you come over here, another Crow Magnum, and that is John Podesta. Now he was in uh he was in cahoots with uh, with Obama and them. And and and, and uh what's that? Uh, oh Hillary Clinton. See, and then this is his artwork. Now this is Krampus right here. What he taking the damn kids. So that so you see what I'm saying. This is why I don't separate no Roman, no Greek, no Jew, no Hebrew, whatever the fuck they want to say, or no goddamn pedophile secretary nigga today. Them damn Crow Magnet man is all the same. They all the same. I don't give a damn if you put a suit on them, put a tunic on them. Goddamn, don't put nothing on them. Them motherfuckers is savage barbarians. Okay, we already know what Cronus and 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 and, and goddamn uh what is uh Pan and and Krampus do. They ain't nothing but child murderers, child eaters. You know, take the child out to hell. And like I said, we know that the goat is synonymous with Cronus. He's the epithet because Saturn rules Capricorn. He's in the same uh, zodiac as Capricorn. Okay, Zeus, Zeus and Pan. You know what I'm saying? The Almathea, the goat. See, the, they can't get away from the goat. So he wrong. I don't give a fuck where you go, man. And then you go to the Senate that we got today. That shit is set up like wrong. Okay, go to Capitol Hill. Rome had a Capitol. I mean, all this shit line up. Okay, so they never they never left their goddamn culture. They might have morphed it and changed the name, but nigga, they stayed the same as far as the the, the fundamental framework of this shit. Okay, okay, y'all, this is what we're gonna do. We still gonna eat kids. We still gonna round them up. We still gonna worship this goat. You know, then you got the eagle or the bird, the bald eagle as the goddamn American symbol. Goddamn it, and then Zeus. Turn into a damn eagle. See, I'm just man. This look, y'all can you can come up with any excuse you want. This shit ain't no goddamn coincidence that the world is like this, and you see exactly how the the leaders of the world ain't my goddamn leader, but the so-called leaders of the world think this nigga. See, he thinking right now. This right here is on his mind because this is at his house. He thinking about taking some kids, raping them, and all kind of other shit. Okay, because I dropped me a lecture on these sick motherfuckers, him and his brother. And they are working their house. It's sick. This shit is sick. Okay. Now we're gonna deal with old Pied Piper. Now see. Now listen. Now the Pied Piper was. This was a German. This was in Germany. You know what I'm saying? And well, I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all the story. So I don't know who don't know the story, but the story is he was hired by, uh, you know, the the head official over there in Germany, or whatever, to get the rats up out of the city. So he played the song and shit in the in the rats. Followed him and he, you know, followed him into the river and they drowned out. So the rats got drowned. The the damn governor, whoever the fuck it was, didn't want to pay the Pied Piper. Okay. So that motherfucker said, okay, I got something for your ass. He <laughs> played that tune and had the kids follow him. And then uh they, you know, it was a mass, uh, mass amount of kids coming up missing. Now, what's key about that is, again, this is in Germany, so we already know. We dealing with you know the German Jews, the Khazars, who ain't they follow the same th Greeks and Romans and they the same stock, okay? They love the same damn stock, and we already know Cronus, the kids, they eating the kids and shit. That's facts, okay? And them Jews got a reputation of goddamn blood label. I'm we gonna get on that and little Saint Hugh Le of Lincoln, you know they murdered him, and, and so you see it's a lot of uh. It's just a lot of bullshit that's tied in, not only with German, Jews, all. That's why I said I don't separate no pale man from the next. You think a Muslim, an Arab, all that shit, uh, Khazar, Germans, all Jews, nigga, they the same people, okay? Russians, they all the same folk, okay? So now, when you see this and you see the kid, uh, kids following the Piper, you see what I'm saying? What you got to understand is, Pan also played that damn pipe. See? See? See, Pan also played that pipe too. See? Pied Piper. And then you got R. Kelly. He raped, fooling with kids and shit. If he was doing anything, whatever. But he fooling with kids to call himself what? The Pied Piper. See? Now they talking about in Germany. They don't know where the kids wind up going. It was 
you know, it was a legend and they don't know what happened to the kid. They know what happened to them damn kids. Like I said, this is, the, they got too many other kind of legends and stories and shit that lead to child sacrifice for us not to lead, come to the conclusion that these motherfuckers killing kids on the regular anyway. Okay. Anyway, then we're going to get into not only, uh, you know, because the German, listen, man, the Germans was Jews. Okay. We got to understand that. We got to understand Hitler, who was for Germany, was funded by Jews. When you look at the Jews who went in there and did that to that to the other Jews, they was called the Ashka. Well, hold on. They the Nazis. Okay. The Nazis. Now, when you look at uh, the certain type of Jews, you got the Ashkenazi Jew. Nazi. N-A-Z-I. That's the same thing. So the Germans is Jews. They were just doing that shit to their brothers. And the only reason why they did that to do the, to create the World War II is so they can have lead way to go back to, it will not go back because they never was there, but to go to Israel. See, so this was all about the Jews getting to Israel. But we, that's a whole different subject. But I just want to let y'all know that when you look at these, like uh, Switzerland, which is below uh, Germany, and it's, you know, in between Italy and France, Okay, they got uh, in Bern, Switzerland, they got a goddamn, in the town square now, in the middle of the square, a goddamn statue with a motherfucking ogre, he's like a crow magnon demented nigga or a demented cracker, uh, eating kids. Got the kids in his knapsack, just like crow, I mean, uh, Krampus. Had the kid in his knapsack and shit. See what I'm, and then one of them in his mouth. Now, this is in the middle of the damn city. See what I'm saying? So it's showing you, it's, it, it, it shows you through continuation of their symbols what the fuck they about. So German and Jew and all that shit, they all Cro-Magnon men and Cro-Magnon women, and they down with that child sacrifice and cannibalism. Facts. Don't want to hear nothing about it because here you go, the deity leading back to being the piper. And we already know what goddamn Pan was doing. And we know that the goat symbolized is another epithet of who Cronus. So we already know what Cronus do. So if the goat is Cronus, Cronus is the goat. He the Pied Piper leading the kids. You already know what time it is for them kids. Them motherfuckers finna get eight. Okay, so we 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 touching on some things. Now, you look now and see this is a sad, sad case. Okay, sad case. And this is look, this when I see this, this is what I mean by psycho necrosis. This is what I mean by frivolous, feeble-minded niggas. See what I'm saying? This is what I mean by falling in the paradigm and celebrating the traditions of your enemies. See, she got the goddamn, I think this motherfucker called a pan flu. See, you see, he got, the, he, I mean, come on now. Come on now, same thing. And see, that's that energy. So that Pied Piper leading the kids away. See what I'm saying? Same thing, same thing. You telling your kids to go be Greek, being the Greek fraternity and sorority. See, that's sacrificing your child. That's giving them the pan, giving them the Kronos, giving them the Zeus. Who was a goddamn uh, pedophile? They even say pedophilia start with Zeus and <laughs> You know what I'm saying? For kidnapping goddamn Ganymede. Huh? Y'all better, y'all better wake the fuck up. Got our goddamn babies out here, brilliant babies. I can see the confusion in her motherfucking eyes. I can see it. Okay. I'm telling this is a sad, sad case, family. We gotta stop it. We have to stop this shit. We too good for this, man. You know what I'm saying? We, you know, all this time that we done spent putting into other people's culture and all this shit, we could have been then came up. Could have made our own festivals, our own holidays and everything. But you want to be up under this crow magnet man. Huh? See? Yeah, yeah, you want to be up under this crow magnet man. Okay. See? And then we have your ass hung up by that goddamn noose and you the next sacrifice. You want, me want us to put a, you on a goddamn t-shirt. Okay, now next, family. Now, this is dealing with the children's crusade, okay? See, this is de this is dealing with the children's crusade. They never want to tell you about this right here because they try to say that the, the Pope didn't, uh, the Pope didn't ordain it. Well, he didn't stop it either, okay? The nigga didn't stop it. Now, they say, this comes from Ancient History Encyclopedia. Say, it is estimated that 20,000 children set off and crossed both Germany and France either separately or at one point joining forces. Medieval sources allow both interpretations. With the aim of reaching the Italian port of Genoa where they might find ships to take them to the Holy Land. Some groups that may have made their uh, way to alternate, I'm sorry, some groups may have what? 
Damn, some groups may have made their way to alternative ports of peace of further south, Marseille in southern France, or even Brindisi in the in south of Italy. Okay, so here you got twenty thousand kids trying to go fight in Jerusalem for the goddamn Crusades. Now, now we talking about children, children here. I ain't talk. We not talking about you know eighteen, nineteen. We talking about kids. We talking about kids, family. And we in this twenty thousand. Okay, just showing you how they don't give a damn about them. Listen, unfortunately, many of the travelers, depending entirely on charity, wherever they went, died of hunger crossing the Italian Alps. And when the remainder arrived at Genoa, they had no funds to pay for their passes so that without any military equipment or training, the, the, the Genoese refused to help. In some versions of the legend, the children had optimistically expected the Mediterranean like the Red Sea for Moses to miraculously open and allow them to pass to the Levant. Well, them niggas that was smoking some cheap dope. There ain't no I mean, shit. Ain't nothing that happened, obviously. And then in the story, they say that a lot of the kids became slaves in Europe. In Europe. And now you hear in Europe now. They, they, you know, they actually, so you got kids who was trying to fight for the goddamn, look at all these goddamn kids. Kids who tried to fight for the goddamn cause. And they wind up now. I don't know what how the hell some kids gonna run up against a whole army. These motherfuckers ain't and they just said they didn't have no uh, military equipment or training. So what the fuck is they gonna do? What the fuck do you plan on? So that's what I'm saying. You got a country who didn't even think that, oh yeah, let's go ahead and just throw them at them and see if and see if whatever happens, happens. That's some sick, that's crazy. That's crazy. And then I want y'all to listen to this because hold on now, come on. See, this right here is showing you what they was doing in the crusade. It even say these motherfuckers was eating kids. This is this is from uh I think this is on A and E. I, I want to say the History Channel. Listen. Three hundred miles north of Jerusalem, the Pilgrim Road runs through Mara al Numan. In midwinter of the year 1098, this small town was invaded by cannibals. Men who had marched 2,000 miles to do good in the name of Christ. In Marat, our troops boiled pagan adults in cooking pots. Then, Did you hear that shit? They said they boil pagan adults in cooking pots. Let me let me just run that back a little bit, so you can see what I mean by cannibalism. Now this is in the now this is in the name of listen y'all. This right here is supposedly in the name of Jesus. Okay, now Jesus didn't stop these motherfuckers because this they doing this shit in Europe. Jesus didn't stop these motherfuckers and say, hey man, y'all enough is enough. Okay, I, I go in Jerusalem and I I settle shit straight, but this gotta stop. They was boiling people and eating babies on spicks. I, 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 let, me, let me rewind this a little bit. They impaled children on spicks. I didn't do it. See? In Marat, our troops boiled pagan adults in cooking pots. They impaled children on spicks and devoured them grilled. Lord have mercy. Look at the Cro Magnon. Look at the Cro Magnon man. This was the first crusade. The first crusade, y'all. See, they didn't have enough food to, to uh feed all of the crusaders who was going through a town. So shit, most of the time the crusaders would go take a baby, and depending on how high rank you was in the army, you know, that's how much rump you got off the the child of the I'm sorry. That's how that's how much meat you got off the rump of the child's ass. Okay, I mean, damn. You hear it right there. So they they boil, they call them pagan, but you know what I'm saying? The damn Christian and, and Catholic church was nothing but pagan itself. So they boil the pagans, uh, men and, and uh, men and women in pots, the adults, and then what they say, put the babies on speaks. Let me let me run that back, god damn it. Let me run that back. In Marat, our troops boiled pagan adults in cooking pots. 
They impaled children on spits. Impaled them. And devoured them grilled. Impaled them, grilled them, and then ate them. See, I'm done with that shit. See, and, and this is why I stumped these niggas out repetitiously. You know, for all the most see-through Hebrews and fake-ass corner store moors, this is why I, I just stomp you niggas out, man, because you niggas be shooting out flagrant at the mouth on some shit you have no idea about. These motherfuckers was cannibals. They is cannibals, okay? This is what I was telling y'all uh, about a while ago. The child eater of Bern. Now, this is in Bern, Switzerland. This motherfucker, look at, look now. This motherfucker got a whole baby in his mouth. Look at the old demented ass crow magnet man. Got a baby over here distressed. That motherfucker distressed. Got a, got babies all in the damn bag. See, that's that Cronus. That's that's Cronus. See, that's that's pain. That's Krampus. How Krampus will put the baby and the child in the bag. See what I'm saying? That's the same energy. See what I mean? This right here. And let me see if I can find that damn picture. Was it? No, not that one. See, and this right here, that's the same damn thing. That's that's Krampus, man. You know what I'm saying? This is the German. You know what I'm talking about? And they try to say, uh, now they say they don't know how this damn, uh, this, what is this called? Uh, uh, symbol, or this goddamn character got here. You know what I'm saying? They a goddamn lie. That's just like they say about the damn Pied Piper. They don't understand where, where the story come from. See, and then they say that they 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 say that it's about anti-Semitism because he got on the Jewish hat and see got even got on some of the Jewish regalia. You know what I mean? So they so they know what the fuck this is about because like I said, they were saying that the damn Jewish people was doing blood label and going and that's why they got uh 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 kicked out of goddamn damn near every country that they went in. You know what I'm saying? They got damn near kicked out. Which I, I got the map and I'm gonna show you. They got uh uh. Got kicked out of Germany a couple of times, all these other places a few times. See, but when you see this shit right here, you see why. You know what I'm saying? And they also said that this was another symbol for Kronos. So they got Kronos in where? Switzerland. Okay. And we know that Switzerland is where? It's in between France and uh, Italy. You get, you get what I'm saying? In between France and Italy, right between the Roman Catholic Church. And then you got France, who was, uh, you know, at one point, you got the damn Gauls and shit, which was nothing but, you know, more Germanic people that the Romans was taking over. And you, you know how that go. OK, so we already know that Kronos was a, a, a deity in, in a Roman and Greek tradition. So it, it would have been nothing to morph that shit into Kronos, into this child eater of burn. OK, it's nothing. So it's, it's the same people. You know, what I mean? it's just like if you had a if you and your cousins or whatever was in. The, the south part of goddamn the world or south part of America and you had a symbol or something like that or a story that's that's in your culture but nigga even if you travel to fucking Japan and you start up new civilizations there you're gonna still it might vary from time to time or place to place but it's gonna still have that same conceptual framework this is the same thing with these damn cro magnon men this is why all these damn countries and all the festivities and holidays what do you see you see a common theme of child sacrifice, murder, and, and not cannibalism and shit. Okay, so you see this right here. This is the same thing as this, this Cronus right here, too. See, it's the same thing, eating his kids. You see over here, they eating the kids of Germany and Switzerland. That's what the fuck they do. Now, sometimes it ain't always eating them physically. It ain't, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's just setting them up for failure, you know, eating them like that. But it's always the same. It goes back to the same thing. They don't like they self. Nigga, so what the fuck you think they you think they like you? They don't even they can't even stand their damn self. These is crow magnet babies. See these little cracker babies right here. These ain't black babies. But shit, like I said, if they'll do this to their kids, what the fuck you think they'll do to your kids? And you niggas sit up there trusting the goddamn crow magnet man to watch your kids. I, I wouldn't trust a cracker to do a goddamn thing with my kids. Not not one. But you niggas got it, man. You know what I'm saying? So when you see this right here in Switzerland, yes, in Switzerland, okay, you go over here, and I'm going to show you something else in Switzerland, too, but you see right here, Cronus, okay? So you see the same resemblance, you know what I'm saying? It's the same thing. And then you see here, you see the old crow magnet woman, the old caveman woman. See what I'm saying? She in the same pose thinking that this shit is cute. See, I'm just showing y'all, they never left their own traditions, man. 
they ain't never leave this shit alone. They never let this shit go. The Catholics never let, see Catholic mean universal. So that's why you got so many attributes of different goddamn Greek gods within Jesus because all they did was universally take all these goddamn pagan deities and shit that they done conquered and then consolidated it in one fucking deity. This is what the hell they did, man. This is what they, and again, the proof of that you got baby Jesus and the Vatican and over there and them, you know, Catholic persuasions, the little baby Bambino, then you come over here to, you know, like the Western part of the world, and you got what? You got the grown Jesus. You see what I'm saying? You got the grown Jesus. So you, and that, that ain't no different than Bacchus and Dionysus and Cupid and Eros. And, you know, you got you, you got the grown Dionysus, which is you baby Bacchus morphed into the grown Dionysus. Same thing with baby Jesus into the grown Jesus. Y'all niggas got to know this shit, man. Okay, it's too late in the game for you niggas to be fumbling on some bullshit like this. So again, you see the crow magnet woman. You see, she got the eyes all open. Now she got pizza in her hand. But you know, now, now and that go back to that pizza gate shit. I ain't trying to cause no conspiracies or nothing, but that just reminded me of that. And then you see her ass again, you thinking it's funny. But see, she just she is acknowledging her culture. They they come out of that and, and man, them damn. I was watching uh. Uh, what's that? Uh, the History Channel. They had a, 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 a section on the damn cavemen, the Neanderthals. See, if they couldn't make it a winner, like let's say the, the Crow Magnon woman, the caveman woman had a baby, okay? And that motherfucker, uh, they didn't have enough food for the winter time or whatever to feed the baby. Because see, the woman, you're going to have to go extra harder for the woman because she got to produce the milk to get to the baby. So then you got to go hunt more. But if it wasn't a lot of uh, food and shit around, they had killed a goddamn baby and what they call it infanticide. See, see, they killed a goddamn baby. See, this is in that man. Listen, listen to me. This is in their culture, man. You cannot go into no culture in Africa and see nobody talking about no goddamn deity that ain't no kids, man. That what does that say? And we keep talking. The the deity is a reflection of the culture. Okay. See, that's why you you, you, you got to come up off this Crow Magnon tradition, man. Okay? Not one. I'm going to show you two. Now, this motherfucker got a, she got a hedgehog. That's a, uh, you know what I'm saying, little, little toy hedgehog. But you see, she in the same position as the Kronos. See? As as the crown. That's Kronos, crown. That's the king. See, she's a Crow Magnon woman, and she's uh adoring her Crow Magnon deity. Okay? And like I said, maybe they find some kind of fulfillment out of this shit. I don't know. What I do know is this ain't got a motherfucking thing to do with no goddamn black people. Okay? And if it do, you see, that's that, them niggas is the problem. Okay? Now, again, we we not we, I don't want us to get lost our subject. Why are we going in on this? Because Kronos is the deity who rules the winter. When is Christmas, nigga? The winter. You know, you got November and they say the, you know, the fall. But nigga, when when you dealing with the white man way of thinking, the fall is the fall of the sun. Okay, so when you dealing with fall, you dealing with winter also. God damn it, that's why he got his New Year at twelve o'clock midnight in the dead of fucking winter. Who the fuck does some shit like that? That's some vampire shit, nigga. See, you niggas done, you niggas is on some vampire shit. Okay, now, I ain't talking to the beloved. You already know I'm the gatekeeper of this goddamn knowledge, but I got to give it to you how it is. We got some throwed off motherfuckers in the community, man. You know what I'm saying? We got some throwed off niggas in the community. Okay? So, like I said, we doing this because Kronos is the deity of the winter. And when you look at Kronos' energy, he eat his kids. When you see, you know, if once you tie Kronos in to who? Kronos, Zeus. You tie Zeus in to Thor. Thor, Odin. Then you see November, the last day of Thursday. Every, I'm sorry, the last Thursday of every year. Thursday is Thor's day. Okay, we understand that November, when you go back far enough in time prior to 1500s, it was 10 months. Okay, it was, you know, January and February was added last. So the end of the year would have been December. November would have been the year before, I mean, the month before that. So November would have fell into that winter fucking festival. Okay, so we understand how Thor can tie into because Thor ain't nothing but the Germanic version of Zeus. Okay, nigga, so if we know Thor is the energy that 
that Zeus daddy give, then we can understand why Thanksgiving is in the November block month. That's the blood monot or the block monot where them goddamn Vikings go sacrifice not only goats and shit, but they sacrifice humans. So we doing this to show you in all of these cro magnon men cultures, the prominent deities is fucking child sacrifice cannibalistic motherfuckers, okay? Man, y'all ain't no getting around this shit. Ain't no getting around this shit. Okay, so like I say, you see the crazy ass demented woman over here. She thinking she cute, you know, uh, and, and and biting the goddamn hedgehog in commemoration to her Cro Magnon deity, uh Kronos, aka Saturn. All right, now and we just showing you right here up close. Uh, well, you know, see the guy. Now this is in the middle of the damn town, man. You you put this goddamn uh 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 child eating motherfucking thing in the middle of the town so everybody who passed through and you see this old crazy ass white woman right here she got her kids looking all up to the motherfucker see that's what i'm saying see now what you think that motherfuckers gonna grow up to do you know what i'm saying i mean I, I, and i ain't wishing nothing bad on and i ain't but fuck that i done seen enough crazy crackers to know how they fall in line so now you can see what they do you see this shit is like a goddamn ritual uh, like a, a rites of passage they show them all this crazy shit. When you go over there on Krampus Day, it's more decadence. They scan the shit out of the kids. See, that's that's fucking with their psyche. So they can grow up to be just as crazy and just as fucked up. And so they can do the same thing to their next generation. Raise them up to be crazy delinquents. See what I'm saying? And that's why the whole goddamn world right now is ruled by nothing but delinquents. And we on top of the delinquent list because, like I say, we spend our last damn dollar in these festivals only to be de uh, 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 degraded in the goddamn traditions and in they goddamn holidays. See, blackface and these niggas making the uh, uh, the demon Krampus, they change him to the Black Pete. So niggas don't even know that when they run around in blackface, that's demonizing the black race. See, got to talk to you dumb ass niggas. Got to do it. So you niggas don't talk, run around. Talk. It's for the babies. It's for the kids. Bitch, shut up. It ain't for no goddamn kids. Or no damn babies, because this was not a motherfucking season. This listen, when you go back in time, Saturnalia and all this shit, this shit was like spring break. These motherfuckers running around here drunk, naked and shit, having orgies and shit. That ain't got shit to do with no goddamn kids, man. You know what I'm saying? What it is is nigga, you telling these old cheap ass lies to stay within the confines of this whole bullshit lie these niggas tell me. That's what it is. You want to stay with the white man tradition. Don't just just keep it a buck, nigga. I mean, just keep this shit a buck so we know to clean your ass up off the field when we done with the crow magnet man. We already know to go back and say, but we can't have this nigga in the goddamn community because this motherfucker was down with the crow magnet shit. You know what I'm saying? We got to get his ass up out of here. Okay, that's next. Now, see, now I came up off of that because, like I said, they said that that child eater of burn that you see in Switzerland was, uh, uh you know, a, a knock at the Jews because they was out there eating kids and blowing blood, label and shit. Now, so this right here, I got off of Britannica. Now, this is about Little St. Hugh of Lincoln in England, okay? Now, you see right here, okay, you see right here, this is the this is the little boy sarcophagus. You know, his little coffin, okay? It say, the victim of an anonymous murder, Hugh, a nine-year-old boy, was found dead in the well. His friends came forth with accusations that a Jew named Copeland had imprisoned a child for more than a month, torturing and finally crucifying him. According to rumor, the body had been thrown into the well because the earth had refused to receive it. Now, I don't know about all that, but they say more than 90 Jews were subsequently arrested and charged with practicing ritual murder. Copeland, who allegedly confessed, was uh, uh, was executed along with 18 others. You see, and then they try to tell you that this is a legend and this no, man, ain't no goddamn legend if they got this boy sarcophagus and coffin right here, man. You know what I'm saying? This, this shit. And then if they got the goddamn documentation of these damn Jews being uh, coping, being murdered, well, how the fuck can you sit in? And they got the number. 90 Jews and 18s was executed with them. See, they said that they, uh, man, they say they ca they capped the little boy and had him play the role as Jesus. So what they did was they had, they had like niggas come in and role play. Like somebody played as Pontius Pilate. Somebody played as Barabbas. You had other Jews come in to play like the crowd. And then they said when they gave him the sentence that they was going to kill him, say they started beating on the little boy, beat the shit out of him, put a crown of thorns on the little boy's head like they did Jesus. 
Then they went and got some goddamn, what is them, th them lances, you know, like some spears and start poking at the little boy. And, and goddamn, until one of them, until one of them said, you know, we're going to, it's time to kill him. And they pierced his heart. See what I'm saying? And that's another thing I'm going to get into also because you got Cupid that shoot that arrow at your heart. Okay. Then Jesus died by the lance going into his heart. So you see right there, another connection between Cupid and Jesus. Okay. I, now I just had to throw that in there, but you see these motherfucking Jews is ruthless. These motherfuckers is ruthless. And then you got that old crazy ass crow magnum Jew, uh, Abraham Finkelstein. This motherfucker was talking about how they uh, killed the, 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 the kids of their enemies and then use their blood for Passover bread and shit. And then they dispose of the bodies in these, uh, you know, uh, meat factories and they resell the meat back to McDonald's and Burger King and all this. I say, boy, these motherfuckers is off the chain. These motherfuckers is off the chain, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all got to look into this shit. See, so this is that blood label. This is the blood. See right here, you see the old filthy motherfucking Jew. He got his hand all on little girl trying to size up and shit. Got another baby sitting on a damn float. Look like they bringing one baby out the barrel. Like the motherfucker got blood and shit all in. I don't know what's going on here. And then uh, you see that dog. See that dog. See that wolf. See ain't the dog. The, the dog ain't nothing but the wolf. See what I'm saying? Now, we talked about that wolf. What do you mean? La Sion, who turned, who killed his son and then roasted him and was eating him and tried to offer some to Zeus. See? See what I'm saying? So right here, you even see more of that Greek bullshit, them elements of that Greek shit in here. The dog sacrificing kids, eating kids. Yes, sir. The, them damn Jews. You got up here. Look like they, I don't know what the hell they doing to little boy up here. You see right here? I don't know what they doing to little boy up here, but he don't like he alive no more. That motherfucker look like he, he been gone for a little minute. Okay? We going to. I ain't gonna deal with that no more because this I'm giving this, this shit giving me chills. Now, when you go on, it's the most. See, this is a see again. I'm not. I don't show you just one, two things, motherfucker. I'm bringing the house with this shit. Okay. When I say I'm going straight up the middle, I'm not playing no games with you niggas. They got pit. Look at this shit. They holding a little boy down. Motherfucker got syringes and shit. They couldn't. Look, man, this is some. This is some sick shit. See, this them Jews now. This them Jews now, and you see that it's the. Now, they mostly Cro-Magnon men, but you see I go a Cro-Magnon woman right there, too. So I don't want you to get confused. I don't want none of you niggas to get confused out there, okay? I don't know if this little St. Hugh or who is. It's probably one of many of them goddamn saints. And see, the thing is, little St. Hugh was a Christian. And you know, the Jews and the Christians don't fuck around with the fuck around at all. You know what I'm saying? They don't fuck around at all. See, they give you, you know, they give you these old uh, feel-good stories so that you can even niggas get lost in the sauce. But historically, niggas was not fucking with no Jews, okay? And, and Christian and Jew, if And that's why y'all got to go, go watch that movie, Agora. It's going to show you exactly what I'm saying. You had a scene in the goddamn movie, Agora. Shit, they, uh, the damn Jews was at a play and then the damn Christians went over there and started throwing stones at them at the play. And then it was another... Uh, scene where the Jews got revenge. They cried. Uh, there was a woman that they had crying that it was a fire in the city. All the men, Christian men, went to go run down there. Got their ass locked up, and they the Jews sitting up top on over like a goddamn catwalk, just stoning their ass. I'm talking about muck, muck. them motherfuckers had boulders. These motherfuckers I'm, and throwing them. Man, you had so much death in that bitch. It was crazy. Okay, but I'm just I'm just saying right there. That's an example of how. What the relationship was between a Jew and a Christian, niggas ain't and nigga, you going to a Jewish Talmud, nigga, they talking bad about Jesus. They don't fuck with Jesus in Jewish customs, okay? Out now, y'all, like I said, y'all niggas just myopic, which and y'all really ain't even reading that book. But if you read more than one book, that goddamn Jewish Talmud to tell you, they say Jesus burning in hot shit, okay? They say Jesus burning in hot excrement because he was a sorcerer and a demon, okay? That's and, and, and he and he uh led astray many of the sheep of Israel with them goddamn demonic teachings. That's what they said. That's what they said. Okay, you can read it your damn self. I even put it, I got it on one of my goddamn lectures. Uh I forgot which one it was. But I, I yeah, Jesus was a whole goddamn 
according to the Jews, and I know he didn't exist. So you can, you can, nigga, that show corner times. If you want to go along with the story, go ahead and go along with it, nigga. But I ain't got time for it. Okay. But according to the Jews, that motherfucker was a, a, a sorcerer using black magic. Okay. So I you see right here, these motherfuckers like they finna do some black magic on that little boy. Okay. So now this is what I was talking about expulsion of the Jews. You see, 1492 in Spain. Then shit. Five years later in Portugal, got their ass exposed. They got exposed and kicked their ass out of there too. And shit, simultaneously in Spain and Sardinia, shit, even in Sicily, where was 1492? See, 1492, Spain, Sardinia, and Sicily. Okay? You, you see what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to show you. Let me see where they first started showing up. See, they come in in Crimea, uh, Crimea in 1016. See, you getting over here by, the, by Russia and shit now. That's why I say them them Jews ain't nothing but German and Russian. Because, see, the Germans, now, although we know that the Cro-Magnon man didn't start in no damn German, they came from up here. But the first couple places they settled was in Germany. And even, like, the first well-respected ones was, was in Hungary. See what I mean? You had them from them, what they call the Ugrian people. See, this the the Ugrian people coming up from them goddamn polar ice caps up north. See what I'm saying? They, I mean, this is in their literature. This is in matter of fact, you can go to Britannica right now. You type in Ugrian people, U G R I A N, and you'll see that these from up from Finland and all over by them Ural Mountains, past Russia, all in Siberia. Yes, sir. That's what they are. That's what they are. Okay. So. Like I say, you see all these motherfuckers in here, Crimea. And that's that's because it's coasted over by Russia and Siberia. Okay, Lithuania, Silesia. I mean, they got kicked out of Germany about three, four times. Kicked out of France four times. Kicked out of Hungary two times. Silesia two times. Wales, England, see? All of this. And it was 12-12 when they did that to that little boy over here. Okay. So I'm just trying to give y'all a good understanding. Of, these niggas not getting kicked out, of, and it was over. And it's plenty more. This is just a little uh, version of it. Plenty more countries that they got their ass kicked out of. But I don't got time to be going through all that. Okay. So it's just showing you they weren't just kicking them out because they just kicking them out. And this now, if you get kicked out of one uh, country, maybe you know it was some differences, whatever the case may. Two countries and eh, nigga, what's really going on? Three countries. Now we need to sit down and hold some court because it's something you doing. See, it ain't everybody. It ain't everybody don't like you, bitch. It's something you doing, okay? Yeah, you so yeah, that's a, seeing and looking. Now I'm just showing you the artifact. Now this in the British Museum. See this motherfucker they, they finna eat the goddamn arm. See what I'm saying? He finna eat the goddamn arm. Now they try to say that they was playing. I guess it's another part to the statue, and they was trying. They was playing some kind of dice game or something. And they got into it. Man, the first thing I'm finna box with you, nigga. I ain't finna bite your arm and try to see that's some caveman shit. You motherfuckers know, already eating people. That's probably why he felt so comfortable doing it. Okay, right here. This right here is called a mission fresserin. You know what I'm saying? That sounds like some Dutch, some Dutch or some German shit. Okay, it's called a female cannibal. Okay, so you see right there, we and he got the baby right there with him. So he got the baby right there with. Him. So what are we doing uh, right now? We just showing you within. We done ran through the deities. We done ran through the culture and everything like that. Now we hitting home with. The artifacts, okay? We're not done with the documentation either, but I'm just showing you more of the artifacts. These are signs, I mean, damn. And so you grow, the kid gonna grow up, she probably finna throw the goddamn foot down there to the damn baby, have him eat some of it. This is disturbing, y'all. We talking about some heavy duty cannibalism here, okay? Look, more to, more to pay a race. So I just don't want y'all to think, oh, he just showing me one, just two. No, bitch, I'm, I'm bringing the house on these niggas. Okay, nigga, I jumped off the porch with this knowledge. And when I said, man, I'm going to get this to my people, I, I, I wasn't holding none of it back. This is lining up because I'm going to go even harder showing y'all within these goddamn holidays. I'm coming. I'm coming. Nigga, I'm coming to sit down with you on your holiday, man. You understand what I'm saying? Showing you on the holidays how it stems from this Cro-Magnon cannibalistic culture. Okay. Now, this is a city. This is an article I had got. Uh, talking about Leningrad. This is a city in Germany, uh, by Germany, whatever it says, city that refused to starve in World War II. Listen to me now. It say, 
At first, the dogs and cats disappeared. Then there were no more birds. They were eaten. It was done out of pure desperation in order to survive and not go crazy. The menu in Leningrad during the period of the war included wallpaper. Hold on, family. Okay, okay. Put that right there. But okay, now it's a uh the menu in Leningrad during this period of war included wallpaper, window putty, and soup made of boiled leather. These motherfuckers eating leather soup, okay, and and and, and wallpaper and window put. See, man, god damn. They were going to boy, them boys went out bad, didn't they? Okay, then they say the commemoration of the 70th, 70th anniversary of the beginning of the blockade was held two years ago at the German parliament. A survivor, the Russian author, see, see, Russian, see, the Russian author, okay, so they're just a tie between the Germans and the Russians. I got to let you know that. Okay, the survivor, the Russian author, Daniel Granin, described the most unthinkable. A child died. He was just three years old. His mother laid the body inside the double glazed window and sliced off a piece of him every day to feed her second child, a daughter. This is how she got her through. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. See, man, we're dealing with some cannibals, man. And this picture, I don't think this was Leningrad, but this is just in their culture. This is somewhere in their culture. That motherfucker look like Zeus back there. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker look like Zeus. Okay. But yeah, you see, she got a goddamn leg. She look like this woman right here. Okay, that could be her goddamn ancestor or something. Okay, so let's not play with it. It's just real talk. It's just real talk. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Now, this is what I was telling y'all about uh Switzerland. Now, this is at a goddamn uh party that they had. You know what I'm saying? And they out there, see, see with the black woman. You know how sisters be over there in Africa had them rings around their neck. See, they got that black face. See how they doing black face? They got the red velvet representing the blood and the They done. This is a. This is a. A. a, 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 a what is it called? A revamp of genital mutilization. A mutilation of the black people. A genital mutilation. See, they got the goddamn afro on, signifying black hair. See, this is this is the sambo. This is what they the black peat. This is more of that black peat de, uh, derivation off of it. You know what I'm saying with the black face? Okay. And then when I seen this, it made me think about this book I had read, The Delectable Negro. Now, this is talking about how the slave masters and shit looked at the black men and got eroticized or, you know, they looked at them in an erotic way. And that's what they, you know, most of the time they was killing and eating the black men to try to get his power. That's what they do right now. They got them. Now, see, listen, I had tackled this in a European paradigm, my other lecture. You got over there in, in uh, Italy, the running of the bulls. See what I'm saying? Now, you got the running of the bulls in Italy, but the bull is signified by the uh, sorry, the Egyptian god, the black god Osiris, which is Apis the bull. Okay, so they go over there and they got these, uh, uh, you know, I don't know, I guess they call it delectables, where they got, they call it Rocky Mountain oysters, okay, but they bull nuts. So they eat the nuts of the bull because it's symbolic of the black race. So you see what I'm saying? It, it, they even doing it now, and they eat, they killing the, the animals, you know what I'm saying? But at one point when they was killing them, and they still killing us too and eating us, but when they they could be open about the shit, nigga, this was this was the slave culture. Okay, they eat the, they kill the black men, they they take the penis or then they cut the penis off or cut a ear or finger off and they eat that shit, man. This is facts. This is facts. And the damn slave, like I said, the slave owners was you know, they got a, a sexual kick out of this shit. So, you know what I'm saying? This is why I say I don't participate in these motherfucking no, no tradition of my goddamn enemy. You got this motherfucker here uh, with a cape and then cut, the, it signifying you done killed the black woman, cutting her up, eating her and shit. That's some, that's some, that's some caveman cannibal shit, man. Okay. Now I want to read the back of this book so you can understand. You see right here, here go another picture. You see now she in pain. They cutting her open. She in pain and shit. This is this is this is crazy. Now this is over there at a goddamn business party, but they try to tell you. And this was like in two, you know, not even too long ago. You know, this is in the two thousands, and these motherfuckers don't try to tell you racism is dead and it's not systematic. And man, you got me fucked up. This is this right here is it's no, it ain't no getting around this. Okay, now it say the the delectable Negro uncovers a compelling set of themes in the scholarship on U.S. slave culture. 
white cannibalism as a significant trope for white depletion of and desire for the laboring and eroticized black male body. In a stunning series of arguments, what it forces us to reconsider the historical out of hand rejection of black African fear and not rarely claims of white cannibalism showing how remarkably wide reaching was the sense that slavery satisfies some saddle massage, whatever the fuck that word is, instinct among the slave owning class. Okay, getting to it. Talking about, see, getting to it. Okay, then it says. Inverting the trope of slave hunger, Vincent Woodard provocatively suggests that slaveholder that the slaveholder is a parasite who feeds off a slave's body. In the, see, and I even said a while ago, them motherfuckers is just a they just a parasite. They just like a leech or some shit. You know what I'm saying? They just feed up off you, and then your dumb ass go back and put money into it, just giving more your goddamn life force away, your economic, you know, uh, uh, force. Yeah, I mean, just silly niggas, silly ass niggas. OK, uh, suggests that the slaveholder is a parasite who feeds off the slave's body in acts that range from cannibalistic to sexual modes of consumption, especially homoerotic. See, so them niggas was homos, man. We talking about these damn Cro-Magnon men. They was they was homos. I know it hurt, but I got to tell y'all the motherfucking truth. And truth is consistent. I'm sorry. Truth is that which is consistent with fact and reality. OK. Don't fall in love with the potentiality, nigga. Fall in love with the reality of shit. And, and nigga, we getting with the reality of things. Okay, you niggas want to go jump in La La Land and talk about candy, cotton, uh, uh, cotton candy and rainbows and shit, bitch, you going to do that. I'm not here for that. I'm here to tell the truth. Okay, I'm here to tell the truth so this shit can come to a stop. Now, it's a, in an even greater provocation, however, uh, Woodard argues that within the black community, hunger is transformed into a regenerative space from which the search for home and communal belonging may be initiated. A bold and brilliant book. Okay, now we're done with that. Now, we're dealing with, uh, okay, hold on, hold on. All right, now we're on this last part. It says, scholars of U.S. and trans transatlantic slavery have largely ignored or dismissed accusations that black Americans were cannibalized. Vincent Woodard takes the enslaved person's claim of human consumption seriously, focusing on both the literal starvation of the slave and the tropes of cannibalism on the part of the slaveholder, and further draws attention to the ways in which blacks experience their consumption as a fundament fundamentally homoerotic occurrence. Okay, wait a minute. The delectable Negro explores the connection between homoeroticism, cannibalism, and cultures of consumption in the context of American literature and U.S. slave culture, okay? Utilizing many staples of African-American literature and culture, such as the slave narrative. You know, I'm not going to read all that, but we got to the point of what this going on. So, so you see right now, the book talking about how these old Cro-Magnon crackers was eating people. And see, we know it's not no damn, uh, uh, you know, just some kind of fantasy or no shit, you know, what they try to say, Afrocentric hyperbole that we just making shit up. Man, you see the shit right here. Do you not see this old cracker woman, you know, uh, 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 cutting off a piece of a, of a black cake? And you got a, a real, now this is just a crow magnet woman that they done dressed in black face, but she down there screaming as if the damn knife is going to see. So it's, symboliz it's symbolizing cannibal. And you niggas want to talk about, well, I got some good white friends. Bitch, fuck you and your good white friends, okay? If your good white friends didn't, make this known to you and, and bitch then you you well that ain't your friend nigga you see what i'm saying see all y'all man y'all niggas want to be kumbaya niggas y'all niggas want to be can't we all get along niggas now nah, fuck that okay and if you want to do that bitch you gonna be one with them but see you stay on that side because see them the type of niggas that's detrimental them niggas who want to go over there and mix with them for a little bit then they come over here with us and see what we talking about also they got something to go back over there and tell them no nah, we we now nah. We need to keep niggas up off the motherfucking field, okay? You 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 want to go over? Then you go over there, okay? You know, but you just leave it at that. All that sucker shit you niggas is on, man. Y'all gotta stop that, okay? And I'm not gonna harp on that too much longer. But niggas want to talk about reparations and shit and what? We, and don't nobody want to take bitch. You don't want to take care of your damn self, okay? So you want to go mingle and mix with every goddamn body when you can clearly see. These motherfuckers is not for you. You got these niggas goddamn killing their own kids. You know what I'm saying? They 
they set up their religion to be the fall of the sun and that all of their traditions come in the fall and the winter they holidays in the fall and the winter bitch we children of the sun okay so there you go right there you trying to you, you know usher in some goddamn crow magnet shit and we ain't even looking at the world the same way i'm sick of you niggas man i'm, I'm so, you know because I mean, it, it's only so much that we gonna motherfucking take over here, okay? It's only so much. And that's what make our situation so deadly because not only do we got to deal with the Crow Magnet, man, we got to deal with these goddamn Negro pins. See? Niggas with this psycho necrosis. I, you know, and man, I don't know what to tell you, niggas, man. But I'm gonna tell you one thing. Listening to these old see through Hebrews, the corner store moors, you niggas gonna be in last place. And you definitely gonna be in last place trying to get some spirituality from a goddamn crow magnet man this motherfucker couldn't man listen that motherfucker wouldn't know spirit if it talked straight to him okay so i don't know why you niggas is looking for some goddamn spirituality in an english book these motherfuckers is y'all niggas is silly okay feeble-minded all right i gotta get up out of that goddamn we shall overcome mentality we as a people ain't gonna do shit individually we can do something and then come together collectively as a nation and then come and handle business but if y'all niggas talking about all black people and man listen niggas all niggas is not finna come together on no shit like that. niggas is some hoes we got a lot of whole ass niggas in the community we just got to deal with it you know what i'm saying okay so you know it, niggas won't even do shit like this be revolute they get scared oh i can't talk like that i might miss a chick somebody might you know over the, they gonna look my name up and i man fuck that nigga you see that's some bitch shit that's mortgaging your morality i'm not nigga I, i'm gonna get mine you know what i'm saying one way or motherfucking another and if you gotta sit there and, and suck the dick of a goddamn crow magnet to make sure he please so you can get you a little chick bitch you weak okay you weak i don't give a fuck with let me come on back here for the I don't give a fuck what now niggas say, oh, well, nah, you gotta, you know, you gotta drink. I don't gotta do a motherfucking thing, nigga. I don't gotta do, I, you gotta do that shit. You wanna dress up and dance to the tune of that goddamn crow magnet, man? Put on your little goddamn, what's them, them, them shoes, them goddamn elves and shit be wearing? The, 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 uh, little pedal shoes where you go over them wooden shoes, you go over there to Switzerland and Holland and shit and talking to them crackers drinking your goddamn milk chocolate tea with the mint leaf and that bitch you weak and your egg now nah. see they don't they they don't want to sever that connection with their master so anything like this right here nigga, that turn your ass in quick it needs to be black people turn your ass quick fast in here they can't refute nothing you say but because it go against their master and what they was taught by master them motherfuckers will throw your ass under the bus quick fast and that's why i don't show no love to these motherfucking niggas look if you my brother you my you support me okay i understand that nigga but i need to see you on that goddamn battlefield putting in some goddamn work support yeah support is it's important yeah we gonna but god damn it we need some action nigga we need some, we got enough niggas chanting and omening and praying and reading scriptures and got tarot caught we got enough of them niggas and crystal ball niggas we got enough for all of that shit we need some motherfucking warriors okay and if you ain't about that and i ain't just saying a warrior to where you got to go out there shedding blood nigga. i'm talking about we need some scholarly warriors nigga. we need some warriors in the media we need some warriors in every aspect we don't we need some warriors on the athletic field see what i'm saying not not just a nigga who gonna go catch a ball praise jesus and then give his you know give the game ball to a little cockazoid child or give some game shoes to the cockazoid child some some goddamn kids who are not already they sit in front row they got they sit in front row motherfucker so they man they well off god damn it get your goddamn get get them get them goddamn shoes of that jersey to a little old, to to the to the black baby so maybe he can go pawn some shit or put it on ebay and come up later on you know what i'm saying no nah, we got that's what i'm saying we need real revolutionary people in our walks of life for the black culture bitch if you can't do that get out of it that's all i'm saying you know we 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 done dealt with all the Judases that we can deal with, man. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, niggas gonna do what they wanna do. And y'all keep letting these old suck ass niggas in the community. Takashi 6 9s and all these old bitch ass niggas. And, you know, different uh, Cardi B's. And you gonna, we, we just gonna keep on letting these goddamn Trojan horses in the community. They gonna keep on letting us down. And we gonna keep on bitching and moaning about how we can't come up. And it's the white man fault. I'm always say that we down here because of this white, this, this Cro-Magnon man. But at some point, my nigga, 
at some motherfucking point, you got to boss the fuck up, nigga. You got to you gotta have some nuts about your goddamn self and go handle some business. See, y'all niggas not on that. Y'all niggas want to pray for your come up. And that's why we in the position we in. Niggas don't want, niggas don't, they'd rather have hope than the shit that they hope for. You know what I'm saying? If if God himself did come down here and say, I'm going to grant all the shit that you, motherfuckers probably wouldn't accept that. They want to wake up and hope for some shit. Believe in some shit. Never want to know a goddamn thing except on how to got, you niggas want to know how to goddamn upload a, a, a OnlyFans video or roll a blunt. That's the only thing niggas really know how to really do. Niggas ain't on. Um, or go work for a white man. Niggas don't really know how to do shit for themselves. They don't do a goddamn thing for themselves. So, I mean, you can take it how the fuck you want to take I don't give a damn. I'm here to preach the truth. Now, I ain't preaching shit because I ain't no preacher. I, I'm here to exercise the motherfucking truth. Exercise these demons up out of you niggas and get that old feeble-minded mentality up out of the community. That's the only thing. And I done told you, bitch, I'm only here to supersede my successes. I'll let you know who my successes is. Them the only people who can really tell me something. All you other niggas, I'm not listening to you niggas. I'm I'm not I'm not listening to you, Dr. King gas. I have a dream, niggas. You know what I'm saying? That we can all get along. Fuck that. I'm not trying to get along with no motherfucking body but my people. Okay. If you want to get along with everybody else, well, bitch, you jump your ass on that train and you get over there with them. All right. You know what I'm saying? Now, family, uh, you know, this did them coming to the end, but I just this is another one of our uh african empresses you know what i'm saying warrior empresses angela davis you know what i'm saying all these, these i ain't gonna call them bitches i'm gonna respect. all these females out here now man he made the stallions and all these other motherfuckers see that's that generic version i'm not i'm not fucking with that you know what i'm saying angela davis that right there she was real you know what i'm saying and one of her quotes say this is how i'm rolling i'm no longer accepting the things i cannot change i'm changing the things i cannot accept facts Okay, I'm not accepting no deities that touch on kids, I'm not accepting no damn God that'll curse me and uphold some goddamn Cro Magnon men who ain't about a goddamn thing but thievery, child sacrifice, and cannibalism. I'm not doing that, you know what I'm saying? What I'm doing is I'm changing my own goddamn paradigm, you know what I'm saying? And that's what we gotta do as black people purchase with a purpose, put your money in righteous black causes. You understand what I'm saying? You can't find a righteous black cause, put your dollar to a bitch, put it up, okay? Put the shit up. Okay, you save your money so it can save you at a later date. If you can't do that, you done already lost. But it should be a treasonous act for black people to go spend their money with these goddamn A-Rab, cockers, any pair. I, like I said, I don't like the departmentalizer, pale man. Any pale man, goddammit, you need to go ahead and dismiss every teaching from them. You should not be subscribing to no pale man religion. Do not subscribe to the traditions of your enemy. What you should do is, goddammit, I don't tell a man what he needs to do, but I can tell you what... What I do if I was you and what was working for me, bitch, your religion should be black power. What you should practice is black liberation. If it ain't about that, it, ain't, it don't matter, okay? So like I said, you got Thanksgiving coming up. You got Black Friday. Bitch, it's not Black Friday if you're not shopping black, okay? We need some Black Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. After we get done with the week, we need our own black month. Fuck a February. We need something. In the, we need February too, bitch. We'll take that, but we need some. To, to hold us down in the goddamn summer in the spring too. After we get that black month, we need the black goddamn year. After that black year, we need a black decade. After that black decade, goddamn it, it's gotta be black for infinity. We're not turning back no more, motherfucker. That's the point we gotta get to if we wanna come up out this hole we in. So support your brother, you see the cash app, you see the rolling banner with the email up there, man. If you feel like I rocked the goddamn show and shook you up out of your goddamn ignorance, hit me, man, hit me. Let me know what's up, you feel me? So family, I'm in the hot, I always end it, you know what I'm saying? I love you. You're best to know that enemy, okay? You're best to know that enemy. Do not have a paralysis of analysis. What is that? You ain't looking at what the fuck it is because you 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 in tune to the indoctrinization, so you don't want to see the bullshit in the book. You don't want to see it. You don't want to see it. We got to rise above all that, man. You a king, God. You a king. You got to deny this nigga access to your kingdom. You understand what I'm saying? That's the point we got to get to. And once we do that, family, we'll be all right. So, family, I love you. And until next time, you already know what it is. Black power. Look, I brought this bit for two, two hours. Two hours.